There's a lot of action on Patreon, and every week we got a new episode. S subscribe down below. Leo, one of the most important metrics in a man's life, I think, is how much black people like him. That's a very good point. It's a very good point. I... Bill Clinton. <laughs> Do black people like Bill Clinton? Yeah, I, yeah. Bill Clinton's got the wandering eye any black man can relate to. <laughs> but uh, continue. I was thinking about that today. Quick tangent. I was getting some coffee today, doing some work out just on a patio. Mm -hmm. And a guy walks by with a chick who's clearly his girlfriend. And next to me on the patio, there's an Asian girl with a backless top. And she's got a nice athletic narrow hips wide shoulder build wow one of the you know the girls with the narrow waist and then like the wide shoulders we, they, like yeah, they swim or do a pull-up very distracting yeah to see that physique yeah the guy walks by holding hands with his girlfriend and just does the fucking up and down on the asian girl and oh. i was like that guy has a clintonian wandering eye he does because bill clinton really his whole political career was just a means of getting laid mm-hmm <laughs> It's like Jeff Bezos built Amazon in order to fund his space exploration. He said that in the late 90s, he was talking about that. Yeah. Bill Clinton became president for twat. It's really, uh, he's my president. You've said that before, but he, yeah, I can never badmouth Billy, even though, you know, we don't know what he did. Obviously, the the media nowadays, they defend him. They're on his side, too. Oh, so of course. It's all good. But yeah, no, he got a lot of pussy, dude. Billy got a lot of pussy. Which is why the blacks like him. But yes, I don't know. You know, Leo, I used to be about as popular with the blacks as Rat Dick is now. I would say, yeah. The blacks hate Rat Dick. They yeah. hate Rat Dick. Did you, yeah, Wide yeah. Neck, who's going to be featured on this podcast, we got Rat Dick coming in. Mm -hmm. He's going to tell us about what it was like to watch his girlfriend get face fucked by a BBC. Oh yeah, it you heard that right. It you heard that weekend. right. Yeah, and the guys, be the guy, the BBC was connected to a man with a very wide neck, as yes. you probably know by now. But um, but yeah. wide neck this weekend when he was mm -hmm. talking to RDR for the first time early on in the video, mm -hmm. he always looked like he was a split second away from just decking Rat Dick. I think he was probably a split second away. That's something we got to watch out for. He you know really I mean? Rat Dick. He just. Because black people value, you know, clean kicks and none of that gay shit. Mm -hmm. And Rat Dick is dirty and says really gay stuff all the time. All the time. I know how it would happen. <laughs> yeah, no, no. He really is the, exactly what they hate. A, they a hate dirty him, dude. gay, dude. Dude. I mean, you saw him on For the Love of Lena. All yeah. the black guys treated him like he was a Chinese peasant with yeah. COVID seeping out of his pores. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, they they despised him. I know how it would happen, too. I, I, I can ha I have this vision. We go into the room and Rat Dick is just knocked the fuck out. He's like on the floor and he's he's got like blood coming from his nose and we clearly see we're like what the hell happened and then wide neck's gonna be like filing his nails for some reason mm. be like, man he won't shut up <laughs> <laughs> man he came at me on that gay shit yeah exactly just the like, one little line like man he was on that gay shit <laughs> <laughs> and he just knocked the fuck out i think i turned a corner with black people i actually can pin it it was when we did the Compton video last year yeah. where we hung out with the biggest pimp on Skid Row. Mm -hmm. And I was just doing some of my whack white boy comedy. Mm -hmm. Real physical and weird and, and bird-like. Mm -hmm. And you see there's a moment where the biggest pimp on Skid Row just goes like, hey, man, I like this dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I remember that. Yeah. And he, did you see me interacting with Wide Neck this weekend? Mm -hmm. Wide Neck, he said... After he just got done coming in Rat Pussy Pam's mouth, mm -hmm. he like we were joking around on the sidewalk, and he's like, "May I fuck with you?" Yeah, yeah, no, you want him over for sure, even though you did some of that gay shit. You know what I mean? When he, when you were, uh, when you were, <laughs> when you were up in Long Neck's uh -huh. face while yeah. he was getting jerked. Yeah, he also, I mean, we gotta remember, Long Neck also got jerked. By and, the way, and Long Neck weighs about seventy pounds. Mm -hmm. There should always be a lifeguard on duty. <laughs> When Long Neck's doing anything sexual, he needs an adult on the bed. We missed an opportunity to like, we should have put him flat on the bed and made RBB lay on him. Dude. Mm. <laughs> we should have done that, dude. But that would have been a little too much of that. Yeah, right? Especially if nobody had EMT training. Yeah, but Long Neck, uh, so Wide Neck, the black man, would be saying things like to Danny when he was, Danny was up in Long Neck's face, he'd be like, 
man, you got a grown man in your face, man. <laughs> How you gonna get hard with a grown man in your face? But he kind of like <laughs> in your face. He didn't he didn't pronounce he face he all the way. He doesn't have up. to finish the, a lot of words. In your dude. face. I, I kind of like it. Yeah. He was dapping me up though when I came back from. T- I think he kind of liked it. But dude, yesterday, Leo. So it was it was the NFC Championship. I know. I mean, it was the NFC Championship, mm-hmm. which always is way more meaningful to me than the AFC Championship mm-hmm. for some reason. But the good old Detroit Lions taking on the San Francisco 49ers mm-hmm. and we're hanging out at my old roommate's house. I've been kicking it with my old roommates watching some ball. That's cool, man. They uh, a lot of them are hardcore Danny Mullen fans. They're friends there. They were fanboying out a little bit. Gotta love it. But what's so beautiful about this situation is these two white boys who I used to live with, they moved into Inglewood because that was a cheap place for my old roommate Noah to buy his first piece of real estate. And so they are gentrifying the hood. Oh, yeah. And it's straight out of a sitcom, I swear. There's a black dude named Dion who's like an old school L.A. black guy. Yeah. Kind of sort of like the guys who li- who were at the park in Oakland. Great guys. But, yeah. with, but with the home. Exactly. Super yeah. great guys. Just like that same sense of humor, that same swagger. They got the same. They got some sayings, but they're not like modern black dude sayings. They're oh, kind of, no. they're from like the 50s, 60s, 70s. The yeah. best, dude. And yeah. like they the great thing about black guys from that era, too, is they have none of that. Like we hate white people shit going on that if you talk to like a black chick who just graduated college, you're going to get. Mm-hmm. They're super friendly. And one of them, this guy Dion just comes over all the time and just kicks it and watch sport watches sports with a bunch of like 20 year old white dudes and he's like 65 and he's Come like on, and he's hilarious. like um and then so like really quickly i'm trying to think what line i knew he was just a fucking scumbag but he gets up at some point during the second quarter and he's like uh man that, that jared goff that was a bad throw man that was like a bad piece of pussy i swear <laughs> and i was hey, like oh this guy's fucking dope i'm gonna tell you right now dude you know one thing when their opinions of him are gonna change when they bring some chicks over to that place because he's gonna get some pussy dude. He's, oh, gonna, 100%. he's gonna steal some pussy from those young 20 year olds man which is that old school game dude yeah it's over dude and then also he's like he was also what i loved about him too is he wasn't because you talk to some of the younger black dudes and yeah. they're just so homophobic that they're out of touch with the reality right it's like okay wide neck if I offered you a billion dollars, would you touch a guy's butt? He's like, hell no, man. I can't go back to the hood after touching some fucking honky ass. Dude, fuck <laughs> no, my man. The only, the only comparable, like, homophobia is that of, like, an extreme conservative. Right? Or, like, a, a Muslim terrorist. Or a Muslim terrorist, Who's yeah. on, like, a, a Houthi inflatable right now. Absolutely. But this guy, though, like, we were talking, we were like, hey, hey, Dion. He's like, yeah, what up, my man? And we're like, um, you know... A million bucks. Would you let a guy shit on your chest? He was oh. like, man, to that, I got to say, hell fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. I'd let a guy take his shit off. I was like, hell yeah for a milli. And then, it was, it. and then so where we at halftime, my old roommate, Ben, is like fucking freaking out because the 49ers were getting their ass kicked. She's like, we got to take a it. walk. Lines choked, man. We got to get some fresh air. So we're walking down the street. Actually, really nice neighborhood. Like super, super dope. Like big, spacious streets, beautiful houses. It's, come, it's on the come up. We're throwing the football around. Three white guys and then our black buddy, Dion. And then we come up on another house. And on the patio are a bunch more old school Inglewood heads from like back in the day. Like a black family. Yeah. And um, we get up there. I'm envisioning Ice Cube type. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then we get up there, and Dion's like, man, I know what you all must have been thinking. What's going on over there? <laughs> Why are there three white boys and one motherfucking... And he just rips no, the animal. No, <laughs> It was not like a sitcom. It was dude, exactly it's like, like a sitcom, sitcom like you said. It's like, what? It's like a sitcom about gentrification. Come on. But racial coming togetherness. And, dude, Come all on. the all the black people were just bringing us drinks. All, I was drinking wow. sparkling water, but everybody else was just taking shots. They were just bringing us drinks, wow. hanging out, offering us food. Just like the best example of racial coming coming togetherness. Wow. And um, they fucking they fucking love me, man. And I was wearing my Danny Mullen Green Bay Packers jersey from the tailgating for Trump episode. Mm-hmm. And after like the whole time, I was just making like offensive jokes and like just like, you know, everybody loved me. I uh, I really want to dude fucking mic drop moment. 
one of the black dudes is like, man, I like this motherfucker because he rolls up to the party wearing his own motherfucking jersey and shit, dog. Nah. <laughs> and I was like, and they already knew that I was in trouble in Tennessee. Like, yeah. I was a felon, which yeah. is like, oh, fuck, they love that. They love it, dude. And I was like, yeah, man, <laughs> uh, wearing my own jersey. And that's not all. I fucking lift up my shirt and I got my mug shot on underneath. No. Dude. It was like I just did a backflip on Wild and Out or something. Tell me there was a couple. <laughs> Man, I just I gotta listen to that. That's a backflip on Wild and Out. There was the relocation. The black men relocated because they were laughing like, oh, oh man, dude, yeah. went to another room and shit. Dude, yeah. yeah. One of the guys had to take a lap. Nice, dude. Isn't that the best when you can get a black man to relocate? Oh, it's the best, dude. But like, dude, dude I think dude. I've just turned a corner, man. And like, I don't know, dude. I think. What, because when I got heat from No Jumper for saying the N-word in old videos or whatever or on podcasts, I I think I was so tight whenever I was around black people because I assumed they hated me mm -hmm. that, like, I wasn't letting myself shine. And now I'm, like, oh. black people's favorite white man, dude. Hell yeah. No, I'm proud of you, man. You, you've always nice, needed – I think it's probably why it's correlated – to you getting a lot of pussy right now. I'm not. I don't want to say. I don't want to announce that you're getting a lot of pussy. But you know. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's, it's you want to call Sandrina? You want to call Sandrina? <laughs> I think we should. Yeah, yeah. let's call Sandrina. She said she was done with you, but you're just gonna tell her you get a lot of pussy. Again? I think it's healthy. <laughs> you Let's know what? Uh, you know, I was gonna say this. If people think we're taking advantage of people with mental health issues, um, I watched a show on Netflix uh -huh. that is. First of all, one of the best pieces of entertainment out there, but mm -hmm. Love on the Spectrum oh, okay. is just complete taking advantage mm. of people. Danny, they put autistic people on Bachelorette like dates. Damn. And they film it all, Danny. And it is, I mean, these people are just they're comedians, because you know, I guess it's like they just don't know it, but you know. All right, let's call Sandrine. We're gonna call Sandrine taking advantage yeah. of the mentally ill. That's not you know, Sandrine, you, you we don't even she's not she's not autistic. You know what I mean? She's definitely not autistic. She is a she's a genius in many ways, and I think she's beautiful. So really, I'm I, you know I'm one of the people that think that Danny might end up with her. So this is really just a, it's a, it's it's an opportunity for her. Sure, sure. Let's see if she answers. This will keep her on her toes, though. It will. This will keep her going to the salon, working out. Mm -hmm. If she knows what you're about to say is true. Absolutely. She said she was finished with you because I believe you you don't re you blocked her or something. I didn't block her. I just. Failed to respond to some messages, probably. Yeah, that's really a ton. She shouldn't have moved to Tampa. She's no, no, hit it, hit it. Come on, dude, hit it. Message? Yeah, dude, what even is this? Hi, you've reached the personal Record your message after the tone. Simply hang up. You got it. No, you got or it. Or for delivery options, Come on, press don't do my dirty line. work. All right. Hey, Sandrine, how are you? First of all, I just want to wish you a uh, happy new year and all that, because I don't think we've talked since then and tell you um, that I miss you, but... I also, uh, because, you know, I, 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 I have a job and, I, you know, I work for, you know, Danny and all that. He he told me to go ahead and let you know that he's he's getting to just, just bolt loads of ass, just a lot of pussy. He's getting he's getting a lot of ass. And uh, I'm supposed to tell you that. So I'm sorry. I hope uh, I hope you realize he's not the one and you should move on. But, uh, you know, I, I'm I work hard to. To tell you that. So anyway, Leo, have a good Leo, one. Leo, would you would you say just real quick? Would you say it's an excessive amount of pussy? Um, sorry, you wanted me to add. <laughs> P.S. Sorry, uh, it's an excessive amount of pussy. <laughs> so, all right. Well, hopefully it's clear at this point, and we'll uh, you know we'll stay in touch. Uh, hit me up. Bye. Cool. Cool. There we go. It's just a little business call, Austin. A little business it, call. Yeah. I mean, if you want, I know people probably don't want to hear our business calls. We might be able to cut that out or something, mm -hmm. or maybe leave it in. I don't know. <laughs> So, uh, look, I mean, how long did you have, like, a hangover after that shoot? Like, a, a giggly hangover? You know? The Rat Dick Ralph Gangbang shoot? Yeah, dude. Oh. I, I'm, I haven't recovered. I feel like I've been on some hallucinogens since then. My favorite point, because I had to transfer the footage yesterday. Yeah. And I sent it to Leo. Mm -hmm. So our PP, Rat Pussy Pam, comes to the 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 Korean or the Vietnamese restaurant, wherever Vietnamese, we are. Vietnamese. It was hard to get any food for Wide Neck, by the way, because black people don't fuck with that, that neither, Asian shit. Neither dude. did Long Neck. They both were like, man, I don't fuck with that. I don't eat that shit. Yeah, dude. Uh, ghetto people, because Long Neck, is, he's not black, but he is a ghetto person. He's a ghetto, yeah. They do not like much about the Asians at all. 
Mm -mm. I think that's why when COVID broke out, like the first thing most black people did was not (laughs) not go down to the government assistance office, not go buy toilet paper or masks. They went directly to Chinatown and punched somebody in the face. Stop it, dude. There were some <laughs> videos on the internet circulating, but I don't know if that's all, you know, that's what exactly what they did, but... Uh, yeah, there were a lot of videos circulating. It's hard to know. There were some videos of, of uh, black people attacking Asians. That is a, that is a given. And but, I'm sure the Asians... I've seen videos of Asians being very racist towards black people, too. That's true. That's true. But not, vi- not as violent, but racist. It's all, I wonder if black people think Asian people can cast spells or something. <laughs> But oh, why Neck was in there and he was just not having the menu. Yeah, yeah, no, he wasn't. It was a pho place, which I, I don't like the name pho either. It, it's spelled like it would be pronounced differently. Mm-hmm. What is it? Mm-hmm. It's like, and they give you a bowl that looks like they just dipped a ladle into a swamp. I sort of, I get it, dude. But he, but like, I had to realize, all right, this is the only restaurant that's going to let us film right now. Mm. We're going to have to make do. It's not my favorite, but I enjoyed my dish. Mm. But my favorite part, to get to the point here, is when <laughs> Rat Pussy Pam comes. Rat Pussy Pam, all 327 pounds of her? I'd say so. I ordered her three fucking entrees, <laughs> and I instructed the two servers to bring them out right when she appeared, and I tipped the servers well to make a little ceremony out of it. <laughs> just load, yeah, yeah, just load like eighty dollars worth of pho in front of Rat Buzzy <laughs> Pam, dude. Yeah, we also had like the table adjacent clap, you know. We had the the whole restaurant clap, yeah, for uh, RPP, you know. <laughs> and I just broke, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like Leo, I, Leo was keeping with the bit like, you know, rap pussy, this is a day of excess. We just want you to enjoy. It. <laughs> and I just am. Just, I, at one point, I'm just smacking the table like that's how not in character I am. I'm just like, you got it. You got a good line in there, though. But, yeah. but uh, yes, I I couldn't stop laughing all day. But there was a lot of really exceptional stuff with Ratic also. But then, yeah, the porn. I mean, yeah, just to talk about because we're going to talk about the in detail what happened on there, obviously, when they get here. But. The aftermath is is something to behold. Um, you know, doing this job has its days. You know, it's hard work sometimes, but most of the time it's like you do reach a point where you might be laughing um, all night. You know what I mean? You wake up in the middle of the night still laughing. You know what I mean? It's pretty, pretty nice. What's up, guys? Wanted to take a break from the pod for a second to tell you about Prize Picks. What is Prize Picks? It's America's number one fantasy sports app. With over 3 million members. And you guys know about it because you guys are big fans, as I've seen. Um, But it's pretty easy to use. It's just you against the numbers. That's what's different. You're not facing other people where there's much more like, you know, there's still luck involved, obviously. But you're not facing somebody else who can get lucky that week. It's just you. Yes, right. There's sharks in Vegas. No sharks in Vegas. It's just you against the numbers. You pick more than or less than on a two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Now. They got a ching, ching. Now they got a special thing for the big game. The big game is right around the corner. Price Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to turn every game-changing moment into a hundred times your money. So uh, with as little as four correct picks, I you got can Debo turn Samuel. Whatever it is, I got Debo, Debo Samuel going off, dude. There Debo go. Samuel is going to go off. Turn ten into a thousand bucks. You, you better lock up your girlfriend right. before he gets out on the field, Leo. Yeah, Debo, dude, that's I guess a scary man. Now, uh, the best thing about Prize Picks is pretty cool that they're the only ones that do this too. They offer injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. Damn. Debo's gonna be his injury is gonna be exhaustion after spending a night with your fucking girl. <laughs> Uh, I would. That's a nightmare. He's a very scary man. Now, uh, the deal that they're giving you, you guys know this well, but go to prizepicks.com slash LDS and use code LDS for a first deposit match up to $100. Go to prizepicks.com slash LDS and use code LDS for a first deposit match up to 100 bucks. Have fun, boys. You wake up in the middle of the night in your case and you got a herpes outbreak. <laughs> I got to go put on some cream. But meanwhile, I'm laughing. Pet little Brando after I wash my hands, of course. Dude, I had to disinfect everything when I got back from Rat Dick's place. Good call. Dude, my phone. Because I touched Rat Dick's phone a couple of times, which, like, where to even begin? Mm-hmm. Like, when you touch Rat Dick's phone, 
I'm trying to think I would probably prefer to touch the belongings of a totally legitimate homeless man mm -hmm. versus RDR because RDR still has a girlfriend that he like puts chocolate syrup up her ass and like and fucks and stuff. What kind of yeah, do you think there's mites in this place? Do you think there's some kind of mites? You think maybe like a scabies? Mm. Mm. What do you think? Do you mm. think we're more than likely? I mean, somebody picked up something who was on that bed. You know, if you laid on the yeah. bed without anything, yeah. Do you think? You well, we up? we have Aria Bella coming, who is a uh, an OnlyFans star, mm. and she was there, and she, she there. could not lean against, sit on any surfaces the entire time. Yeah, because the couch in Rat Dick Ralph's apartment is. It's not like a, a dog shit on a cushion and they cleaned it or they took it to the dry cleaner or something. There is dog shit that all they did to get it off the couch was just pick it up with a paper towel and throw the, the majority of the shit away. Yeah. Like they threw the bulk of the shit, <laughs> but they didn't even do a secondary wipe to get the base shit off, let alone spray any kind of chemicals. Mm -hmm. I mean, I believe... <sighs> I believe RPB has nothing to do with it. I do believe she goes to work and comes back and rat dicks just destroy the whole place. I think they scapegoat each other. Because <laughs> we took RDR to an eviction specialist and the whole time he was just like, yeah, I mean, I don't know, they gave me some paperwork and I was just like, I, like my girlfriend didn't go or didn't do something or she wasn't paying. It's like, rat dick, you know, you don't have a job. You're home 23 and a half hours a day. Yeah. Could you have looked into the paperwork, maybe? I think he could have looked into it. But I, I think there's got to be some Rat Pussy Pam doing the same thing. Yeah. Because if she lives with Rat Dick, if she lives... There's no way that she is like a boss bitch who's like going out and bringing home the bacon, then coming home and making the place spick and spam, and then three hours later, Rat Dick destroys it. I think they both come home and just descend into a fog of... Um, I don't know. Uncaringness. Yeah, just pleasure, pleasureville. It's, it's like pleasureville. It's I, like, I drug tested both of them and the only THC came up. No, that's interesting. I, I thought that was interesting. But, you know, I think, I yeah, they probably don't have, I don't think they have a crazy sex life. So it's really just like, it's, they're just dabbing it up. Is that why, you don't think they have a crazy sex life? <laughs> I mean, RDR always hypes it up like he, it's hard to know with RDR though. We, it would be great if we could be like, hey dude, we'll give you... Five bucks a day if we can install cameras in your house. Guarantee he would take that deal, by the way. But yeah. then we get on, we can monitor them like a science experiment. I'd love that. I think there needs to be a team of people on that. I think we need to, to hire people like uh, on Fiverr to do to like be on the clock, uh, around the clock doing this for us. I, I think we set do. it up a twenty four hour stream that just always runs inside of Rad Dick's apartment. <laughs> That's pretty. That awesome. would be amazing, dude. If we could do that, it's a great, it's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea until people really get to know. They really just end up finding exactly where he lives, and then they're just sending. It's him interior, shit dude. It's interior, <laughs> uh, and then also we're gonna be able to get the footage when the sheriffs come knocking because oh. a, a real estate professional told us he looked over all of Rat Dick's eviction paperwork and said definitively that dude, the sheriffs are gonna come any day. I think there's that's a good thing to do. go over right now. If you are, <laughs> a lot of people getting evicted. I've won through one myself, and you know, yeah, oh, you get a lawyer. Your boy about. beat it. I beat it. That's right. I it cost me fifteen hundred bucks though, and then I had a and and they don't take your rent for like six months in order to like try to force you to want to leave because you know you save all that money and then you're like all right fuck them. But now nah, but I, your I boy just, is disciplined. I was disciplined, so it was in the bank account. I just put it in their bank account. Point of the story is, what should they do? What's the number one thing not to do? Don't. Not respond. Yeah, so you got to respond to that stuff. Do what the one thing you got to do is respond before the little date on the eviction notice. Because then once that I didn't know it was that easy to get someone evicted. That's crazy in L.A. Like it doesn't seem that easy. So I maybe Rat Dick, maybe the the sheriff would come in eight months. Maybe that's what happens. You got to be behind fully on your rent. One thing that happens is a lot of eviction notices get sent mm -hmm. when you missed your payment by like a couple of days. But as long as you respond to the letter and then pay your rent, you're good. I think to evict you, though, the bar is pretty low. Like mm -hmm. if you're behind on your rent for a month, like it has to be 
you have to owe more than the market value for your apartment mm -hmm. for one month's payment. So basically, that just means you're behind by one month. Mm -hmm. But if it goes over a couple of days and you don't contact them, theoretically, they can evict you. Now, if they're just like could be some, oh, he's out of town, he the his bank account locked him out, he lost the password, they're going to give you the benefit of the doubt for a couple of days because the hell that is the eviction process in mm -hmm. California, it's so biased against landlords that they don't really want to get into it. Gotcha. This is also something else I learned, too, that because the rights of tenants in California, people like Rat Dick Ralph, are so strong because we're liberal lovey-dovey. Oh, the poor people. So what if they haven't paid rent in 13 and a half months? Yeah. So what if they have roaches and orgies and smoke meth? They're, they're, you can't kick them out on the street. Because we have that attitude, what it does is it makes landlords have way higher standards because they don't want to take a fucking chance on anybody. Mm -hmm. They want a white guy who's six foot two, who wears a suit every day when he leaves the apartment, and who drives a Range Rover. Yeah, I, I bet you one day they're gonna they're gonna ask for like they want like a year's worth of you know rent in the bank. You know, like that could be like a way. They checked I mean, my bank account. They checked my in bank my place. account too. Yeah, and well, they were my job like, is this motherfucker's balling. <laughs> And I was like, that's, that's right, bitch. Nah, it's a cool oh, feeling when you don't, you don't even have to say that you have a job. Like, I was like, yeah, no, nah, check the bank account, buddy. <laughs> Is that I ain't got get, no job. Did you, did you squint yeah, at him, Leo? Shit, I get black. I'm like, yeah, you do. <laughs> check the bank account. <laughs> I man, became wide neck and shit. Man, what you say in a fucking resume man. and references for my fucking employer? Yeah. Man, check the motherfucking bank account. <laughs> man, check that shit. You see the ice on my neck, Come motherfucker? On. Dude, I've been thinking about the N word. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a good thing that I'm not black because uh -oh. if I was black, I would say the N word every sentence. Yeah, you'd be one of those guys that just overuses it, man. You know, we all know one. We all know one black dude that overuses the yes. N word, and it's the guy. Yeah, you know, he's the guy that doesn't fit in at certain parties sometimes. It's just a little too many times. Yeah, you know, there's kids there, buddy. There's kids. Yes, all right, the fucking kids. It's, yes, you don't want the kid to say it, right? It'd be kind of weird. But anyway, um, no, it's great. Uh, I think uh, it's a great word, especially if you're on stage, man. Oh, you gotta, it is just... It's the best, dude. Yeah, we had... I mean, Kid Rock had some good... Uh, he we, we used to just tell him... <laughs> when he hit the dabs, bro, really hard before one of my shows, man. What an asshole. He just came. He was preparing all day, like sober, and <laughs> just five minutes... Before he's getting on stage, just a, a fan's like, hey, King Rock, you want to hit a dab? And he's like, hell yeah. He hits it and it's just blasted out of his mind. I'm like, great, dude. I was just like leading to the end word, dude. Just say it as many times as you can. And that was the one time he couldn't even he couldn't even put that together. But it, was, it was still entertaining. Oh, that's my nightmare, perhaps. Hmm. It's like because when you're too high, you feel so judged by everybody <laughs> yeah. and especially yourself. And yeah. stand up is already I mean, it's oh. inherently tens or hundreds of people judging you on a sentence by sentence basis mm -hmm. and you getting immediate feedback. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're a jazz violinist. You could go up there. Nobody knows if it's fucking good <laughs> or bad. Yeah. Those fuckers either laugh or don't laugh. Yeah. And it's like, you know how it is. Like, it's kind of like picking up on chicks. You can, if you're feeling good about yourself, you can go to the bar with a spaghetti stained shirt, a fucking, uh, your own jizz in your hair <laughs> yeah. and like unmatched shoes and pull chicks and pull chicks. But yeah. if you're feeling insecure that day, like you're feeling like a loser, you look at your bank account, you see your fucking ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend on Facebook. Oh boy. I mean, you can walk up to a fucking homeless woman with a hundred dollar bill hanging out your fly mm -hmm. and she'll tell you to kick rocks. <laughs> and that's God, what dude on stage. You know how that is. Oh, we do. Absolutely. know it. And God, when you when you said homeless woman makes you kick rocks, dude, I thought of what happened to Rat Dick. Yeah, dude. Rat Dick got rejected hard by a homeless woman. Really bad, guys. <laughs> dude, oh, Rat really Dick bad. got rejected <laughs> by a very horrific looking. Well, she wasn't. She was younger, but horrific looking deformity wise. Homeless woman. Yeah, she was very sweet. She kind of had her uh, wits about her, which I think is why she rejected right to... Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so roundly. <laughs> but yeah, dude, up on stage, fucking high, man. Like, I'm just thinking back to the times in Vegas when I've taken a bunch of edibles. Mm -hmm. And there are times when you're on stage when every chuckle that you extract from the audience feels like you're dragging 
one of those like monster truck tires or like with a or you're flipping it for like a workout behind a gym somewhere and it just yeah eh, eh, come on come on and the most you get like your best joke is just uh, uh, a couple <laughs> chuckles and you're like dude this is gonna be the yeah. most hellish 10 minutes i can remember i wonder how many people end up quitting after a really bad bomb i heard i heard it happens like once uh, was Lenochi told me that wh- some older comedians sometimes like they'll just quit one day to the next after a bad bomb. They'll just be like, I can't, I can never take that again. Uh-huh. I don't want to take that again. I'm not going to do it. I think it's just that's a mindset thing, though. Let's growth mindset, dude. Every yeah. time we fail, it's a good thing. So yeah. I, I really look at it like that because yeah, the only way to look at stand up is like that. Yeah, but 100%. thankfully, I played baseball for a long time, and mm-hmm. I um, dude, that I just got out so many fucking times. Mm-hmm. You know, that you need to be helps. reminded constantly. Yeah, you yeah. absolutely need to be reminded constantly about that, that just because you see somebody do what you do way better than you, mm-hmm. that doesn't mean you should feel threatened. You should feel inspired to get on it and get better. Yes. And yeah. if, if you don't have that or that's maybe you know that, but you've forgotten it, it's easy to go up there and see somebody kick ass at your job yeah. and you're having a bad day and you're just like, I want fucking out, dude. Yeah. I'm going to go make sandwiches in Arkansas. Right. Yeah. Which yeah. is what Fez should do, incidentally. Yeah, honestly. He'd yeah. eat them all, though. That fucking, you know, that'd be the worst Subway employee it's a, ever. It's a cool thing, guys. Uh, I know we, we don't we don't talk self-help stuff a lot because Rattic's going to get here and it's going to get wild. But while we have a chance, mm. Mindset, this book I'm reading, uh, is that is really the idea. It's a chick, right? It's a chick, yeah. Mm. And I'm, uh, it's by a skirt. It's a skirt. But is it a dame? She she uses a, it. She's a dame. I respect her, though. I don't respect Gash. <laughs> She does uh, use a lot of examples of uh, people in the athletics to kind of say which ones. Like, they're successful people with bad mindsets and shit, but if they're very results-oriented, they end up not having as long careers. They don't have the careers that the guys that are just like, you know, whatever, I lost, but, you know, I did my best. Next year, I'm going to tweak it and just mm-hmm. get better. Failing is a good thing. Looking as failing is a good thing well, can change your life. Mm-hmm. That's because a lot of people, like you said, like you look at someone that does something a lot better than you, and you're like, I can't do that, but... It, was Edison a genius or did he just test the do a billion tests? Yeah. You know what I mean? He was just a guy that never gave up and kept doing tests until he sure he invented the light bulb. You know, she she uses a lot of examples like that, like about a lot of geniuses. People look at look at them like geniuses. But really, were they just not people that like were obsessed with what they were doing and just did it a billion times until they got super good at it? And that's what it is. That's yeah, it's life. You you need to be definitely motivated by the process. What's up, guys? Wanted to take a break from the pod for a second to tell you about Lucy Breakers. There are pouches, yes, much like that other pouch that you you guys use, but this one is really interesting and different and better, in my opinion, because it has a little capsule that has taste in it. Right? I like mint most the most because it's you get that nicotine fun, but you also get mint like like breath freshening. Right. So if you're going to, you know, if you're going to get romantic with a chick and you got one of these in you, the nic- nicotine's making you have game. But then you can finish off the job because you got a fresh breath. So that's what I like about it personally. Yeah. That's going to come in handy for you. That's right. Yeah. It'll come really in handy. If you get total um, breath. They got other they got other flavors, though. All right. They got espresso. They got apple ice. All right. These and yeah. mango It's very good. I really enjoyed the mango as well. Um, if now, they, uh, Leo had his way, there would be, uh, you know, a man milk flavored one. <laughs> <laughs> there sure would be. It'd be interesting. I'm sure it'd be great in West Hollywood, for example. But um, it's neither here nor there. What I'm saying is if you it guys is. enjoy these pouches and also nicotine gum, which also, man, boy, if you like that nicotine buzz, uh, there is a lo- there's lots of fun in the gum, too. So they're giving us a great deal, all right? But before I give you that deal, um, I wanted to first say that uh, Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical, all right? So break up with your dusty gas station pouches and go to lucy.co slash LDS and use promo code LDS to get 20% off your first order. Lucy offers free shipping and has a 30 day refund policy. If you change your mind, that's lucy.co lucy.co and use code LDS to get 20% off and always free shipping. 
I've had this problem though too. You can get so caught up because you're absolutely right. If you are motivated by the process and you let that be the determinant of whether you feel good or bad about yourself, yes, that's healthy. Because if you're totally results dependent, well, first of all, in, in whatever you get into in life, for a couple of years, you're going to suck ass yes. and get no results. So if you're measuring yourself exclusively on results, you're just going to quit. Mm-hmm. You're just going to move back in with mommy. Which is everyone. That's what happens to everybody. So that's something important to remember. There is a point, though, and I've had to really recently discover this. There comes a point, though, where you can get into the the, the rut or the cycle of doing the same thing over and over and over. Mm. And though you're working hard, you're working hard at the wrong thing and you're getting poor results. Mm. And if you're not measuring your results and changing accordingly, then that's also not good either mm-hmm. because... You've seen this. You've seen people with YouTube podcasts who have been doing it for five years and they're getting 300 views per video. Yes, of course. There needs to be an adjustment. People who are boxers and their record is 16 Mm -hmm. and fucking 40 or 16 and 48. Yeah, yeah. I forgot which one went first, the wins or the losses. It shows how much I know about boxing. We have the lovely Aria Bella here who actually witnessed... Yeah. Wide necks penis disappear into Rat Pussy Pam's throat. How about that for a sentence? That's a good intro. We have Aria Bella here who, you, um, is mindset important? We need to get her, a, oh, she's got a mic. Yeah, yeah. She just hasn't picked it up. Pick yet. that mic up, yeah. Right into it. Pretty Get pretty close to it, if you can. Aria Bella, who's absolutely stacked. She's got a big set of breasts <laughs> poured out of her dress <laughs> or her outfit, whatever it is. I, uh, is mindset important when you're, when you're getting naked? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what I was there to help. Um, I think you help facilitate a way better mindset for everyone there. <laughs> uh, we, uh, Leo and I really came through on Ratic's mental health because we, <laughs> at one point, we stopped the shoot and we said, this is getting too real for Ratty. Yeah. Yeah, I was focusing on the performers and... This this sounds like a rat ascending the stairs right now. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can hear him. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, it sounds like a drunken elephant moving through the hallway when Rat Dick approaches. It's about to go. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> there, oh, he, there is. he is. Oh, there he is in the rat costume. <laughs> the freshly minted... Huh? Not there's the freshly minted porn oh, star. Hello. She's got a glow about her. <laughs> She's got a glow about her, doesn't hey, she? RPP is a star. Let's mm-hmm. let's cut this shit and just say she's a star. Oh, yeah. She's a star. And Ari Bell, if you wouldn't mind scooting over a little bit, because oh, Rad Pussy Pam, we all know she takes up some space yeah. on that couch. I don't know. Oh, no. And uh, yeah, slap his ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I like you, Rad Pussy. I am shocked. Oh, no, no, Pussy's you guys, loose. you guys have loose. loose. You guys are cool, man. I like, bo- oh, dude. Hey, you you need to. I think you and and Rat uh, Dick should be inseparable from now on. I would like wherever I mean, he is, you should be here too. For six years. So you are inseparable. Pretty well, much. After that big black cock. <laughs> okay. There's something separating us. <laughs> well, you you said it first. I didn't want to get into it right away, but um. Oh yeah. What did you want to talk about first, Leah? <laughs> uh, Rat Dick, what is your view of the Iranian proxies and the battle we got going on over there? I mean, I don't know much about that. I've just been really focused on how much Rat Pussy Pam was focusing on that black car. All right. Before we get started on really diving into that, I just have a quick question. I Because I was talking to my boy Danny. and, and Yo, Kelvin, what up, yeah, man? Yeah, what up, B-Dog? Uh, I was talking to my boy Danny after the shoot. And Kelvin and Danny, Danny kind of remembers hearing this. And Kelvin doesn't remember hearing this. And I remember hearing this because I was with you. And I experienced a lot of that pain with you, the initial pain when it first started happening. When but, she first started sucking BBC. Yeah, when she first went for that Without a condom. <laughs> without, without a condom. A condom. Was it without okay. a condom at first? Yeah. yeah. Well, she was definitely no, slurping down some semen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's... Uh, you guys are going to... Well, for three what? minutes, I was, was watching, and you were like... Oh, we're oh. going to mend the relationship, <laughs> but did... <laughs> Did well, at some point. And, and we're saying, first of all, this was a fundraiser to keep them in a house. Yes. That's that's why this yes. happened. I don't know it if we explained that. It wasn't for my pleasure or anything like that. No, but it, it ended I, up being that after. Wide Nick <laughs> was very pleasured. He's been DMing me. He wants to arrange another shoot. Dude, he, wants yeah, to, he's yeah. like, he wants to fuck it. He wants shit, to fuck dude. Oh, he wants to fucking. He keeps DMing me. What's he oh, saying? Really? Like, oh, bitch. So the first I want to best... bend you over. I want to give it to that <laughs> Miss Piggy ass. <laughs> yeah. The first DM, he's like, let me get your number. Damn. I didn't respond. And then the second one he sent me a meme let's go oh, i love that he's saying that he liked the <laughs> deep throat wow. oh my god but of course he said that she is his throat goat 
Oh my god! <laughs> wait, wait. Wide or long said that? Wide, 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 wide dude. Like, wide. The damn. black man with the BBC, Danny. Just you're but, quick. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not interested. I'm oh my god! Into that mic, right, pussy? I just did the shoot for you know. Right. For the fundraiser. Quick yeah, question. Yeah, for the fun. You said you had some fun. After well, the shoot. this is what th this is about the fun. Did at some point Wide Neck say, "This how you do it, right, Dick?" Didn't he say that? Yeah, but you know, yes, he, he did say that. Oh! No, he was, he was like, "You Sorry. just need to talk to her." <laughs> oh. well, my dick's so small. You, I'd never be able to. Okay, feel the same so he pleasure. was trying to teach. Hands. <laughs> Stop. I think he was <laughs> going back and forth. And let's, like, and let's break this down. So it's it's Leo and Rat Dick huddled up in the kitchen. Yeah, and I, it's a I, studio I, apartment, so there's really nowhere to hide. Ariabella uh, and I are more on the front lines. Ariabella was doing a great job narrating it, which was nice. I'm glad Aria was there because otherwise it would be like a bunch of dudes and one chick. Yeah. And it would have like kind of a menacing Jodie Foster in the accused. <laughs> Style Absolutely. Film. Except for Rappos, uh, he would break the pinball machine. I but feel, Ari, Ari, there might be like some kind of... Yeah, you uh, have to catch that one in the replay, Leo. Continue. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I feel like there's something um, like you could do in, in consulting almost because you came on set and everybody was very tight, had never done this before, and you kind of like coached everybody into the situation. <laughs> have you done no, that before? No. Okay. Just a natural. Like into that, that mic. Uh, just a natural. <laughs> Hell yeah. It was good. And it, we needed some coaching because at first, everything was very, very mellow. Ratic was totally psychologically at ease because it was just long neck kind of uncomfortably <laughs> getting his prick rub. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I like that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, like, he didn't want Rappos Pan to jack him off. What was up with that Rappos Pan? Why weren't know. you just jacking I'd, him off? I would put my hand and he wouldn't, like... He was wearing a condom, too. He's yeah. uh, Long neck is convinced bitches be trying to steal that seed. Yeah. Well, he's got one kid already, so who are we to deny that maybe that's a, a real thing? Well, you never know. I, yeah. I mean, I am not inside. I'm not a female. So, I, Aria, would you maybe, um, would you want to impregnate yourself with long neck seed? No. <laughs> you wouldn't dig it out of a wastebasket and put it up your toilet? No. Okay. <laughs> Well, Leo was going to pay me $250 to drink it, but after... I was in a... Hey, you know, like when on Danny Mullen shoots, yeah. little demons, they get into your mind, don't they, Danny? <laughs> I couldn't do it. My yeah. heart sunk. I and felt my heart. you just want to go more and more. And, and then I was like, yeah, then what did I do? I looked you in the eyes and I said, you're not doing it. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I was like, no, you, you you're not going to do it. I was like, you're not going to do it. I'm not... No, you're, you're not going to do it. that. So yeah, we're, yeah, I'm not going to allow it to happen. We're going to get to the... I want to get moving along here because again it was very innocent and sort of like a letdown when it was just <laughs> long neck because there was no chemistry clearly between long neck and rat pussy pam no i mean he which nobody I, expected everybody thought I there were going to be it, fireworks with long neck set on the bed from the angle I just felt like i was molesting a child <laughs> oh don't say that oh god <laughs> no, he I'm does not weigh not. 70 pounds what does that dude? feel like he weighs 70 child. fucking pounds not, danny i couldn't <laughs> actually I couldn't even see him from where I was, to be completely he honest. He had his so. finger in my mouth, and it, it was weird. He's got a posture, Leo. He was he was wrapped around her head, <laughs> like yeah. fish hooking her. Yeah. Very strange. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to knock a brother's whatever he needs to get off. You know, yeah. so I'm not trying to do that, but i just never seen that before. Now, my favorite thing about it is when he got up, he goes, he got it done. And then pockets it. <laughs> I got it done. But then this is where things took a turn for the serious. When Wide Nick who's, you know, like, why Nick is, is conducting himself how you would con expect a BBC to conduct themselves? Is it true that when he was in the Uber on the ride over, because I wasn't in that Uber, but when he was he like, man, so we fucking or what? Yes. Did he say shit like that? How'd you hear that? Um, who Kelvin told me, he's like, dude, he was saying, I won't see that pussy. Are we fucking? Rat pussy then yeah. just personally write me a message like, "Hey, can you tell why I chill? I don't want to have a fuck with yeah. pussy tonight." Well, in related news, my yeah. Uber rating is now a one point two, because yeah. okay, okay. because fucking wide neck is shotgun. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And he just turns around. And he's like in the poor lady driving the Uber's ear. He's like, "Man, am I fucking tonight? <laughs> I want to beat that fucking pussy up, like, <laughs> like just for for like miles." He's just being he's so dead. aggressive about fucking that pussy. And yeah. and in, at the rest. He wanted to take me to the restroom. Did, did you check if you to check if I was a female? He wanted to fill your <laughs> pussy up. I mean, Which how is, dare he, Leo? I had to stop. Him. I should have allowed it. <laughs> Danny, um, yeah, I mean, this is gonna be in the porn at some point, but yeah, he, it's gonna um, be in the main video. This part, and yeah, the main video in the part. No, but I'm saying in the porn, he also he does check. 
He checks. He makes sure that uh, RPP is uh, as a woman. And I just, oh. as a representative for the Danny Mullen channel, as yeah. the eponym, to use a vocabulary word, mm-hmm. I denounce that. <laughs> and I wish that Wideneck would have had sex with Rat Pussy Blind. Without knowing I'm ready if you were for now. I actually want her to get fucked now. RBP, R- R- yeah, no, he was... Rap was been after seeing that... No, you were having, like, a bitch fit yesterday night. Oh, today. we gotta hear about this. Let's Ooh. hear about it. So we're gonna get into it. For that. We're, we gotta hear... Bitch fit. Leo, remember that. We're yeah, getting yeah. to that bitch fit. But we gotta... T- let's go chronologically. So, wide neck sits down. He pulls out his dick. And limp. It's looking like an average penis at first when he pulls out his limp cock, but that thing gets big as a motherfucker very fast. <laughs> I mean, that it turns into a BBC. Aria Bellet, would you agree with me that it, it had a the big discrepancy between soft and hard? I did not see it fully hard. Red Pussy Pam didn't either because it was lodged in her fucking throat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take this, dude. This is crazy, man. Um, I couldn't breathe. So when did you? Oh de- my God! Don't <laughs> say that. You're right next to him. When did you decide to suck it? Because it was a well, conscious decision. Well, Rat Dick was in the background just saying, "Just suck it." And I don't then, think that happened. Did it? I, no, it did. All right. I'm I, I think that was a voice in your head. I, yeah. I, no. I, I said it once to Danny, and then he said you should just suck it. I, I think was, it was Rat Pussy's nah, libido. I was giving you a choice to too. do it, and you, you just you suck did it. it. You're I never going to have another one this big. Maybe. This is 16 times bigger than what you're shacked up with. Stop, dude. Listen, guys. Now, this is what. Okay. I have to say this. No, I have to say this. Rat dick must have said, just suck, suck the dick, suck the dick, did the motion 20 times, right? Admit that you were egging everyone in the room on to be like, she should suck it. Yeah, Yeah, because then after, I remember Danny saying something. Mm Mm-hmm. Because the rule know. was he could only ask twice. Tw- or because once. well, that was the rule we established. It was one. <laughs> we but we gave them one each, right? Yes, we we gave them one each. They okay. The rule is Rat Pussy Pam only <laughs> feels comfortable giving hand jobs. You're both, however, allowed to ask to get sucked <laughs> once. And right away, Long Neck's like, man, <laughs> my boy Wide Neck can take mine. Like, yeah. I just want a hand job, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, uh, and then Wide Neck was loving that. Like, yeah, yeah, give me that one. I need two. Yeah, yeah. And so he was ready to go with the two. And I'll be damned, Leo, if I'm the second one. Yeah, I'm the second one, just like, it was just like the logistics of just the breakdown, like the contract, the verbal contract. The second time he asked, he let man, why you suck it? I think that's how he said it. To <laughs> be honest, am I wrong? Is am I doing it? Am my impression out of control? Nope. Is that exactly it's how he said it? Pretty spot on. I mean, how are you? Is it not okay when you're impersonating a black person? What are you gonna do? Be like, why neck was like, uh, um, Mrs. Pam? Right. If you wouldn't mind providing fellatio to my penis at this juncture, I would be yeah. mighty pleased. Yeah, it's not how he asked. Yeah, no, he didn't. He was like, you know, you know, you won't suck. You, <laughs> you had a little bit of focus before you start sucking on that cock. Then once you start sucking on it, you just lost all connection to the room. You just I went, went through a trance. What oh happened? Oh my god, she called it a trance, bro. I can't. <laughs> the BBC it. gave you a trance, dude. I can't take this. Tell, dude. tell us about the BBC trance. Well, you know, I right was, up in it. Pretend <laughs> that microphone's a BBC. Uh, it was like the first time for me and I felt bad. Rat Dick was in there. Mm-hmm. So I had to block my mind and put myself somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So that's were like you, a were trance. You, were you in Africa when you were somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just imagining a ritual in the jungle of the Congo. <laughs> Where they face fog a woman. Yeah. Danny. Dude, <laughs> that's there's, all, yeah. there's just drums. Like, <laughs> it was just like... Ooh, oh my god, that is a bit, dude. If I walked in on that, dude, that'd be fucked up. I still haven't been able to kiss her. Kiss her right fucking now. Make rat out, dick. make out, rat dick, ratty. Right now, you guys love each know. other. Don't bullshit. Don't bullshit. This brought you closer together. Don't uh-huh. be an asshole. You wanted her to right. suck the dick. Tell him to kiss. You, I wanted her to suck the. Dick. You want? You had so three fans up in there. Kiss right now. Kiss right now. Damn, I guess I'll do it for you. Yeah, do it for me. Did you use mouthwash today? I did. It's been a few days. It's a few it's days. Fun, she wants yeah. you to kiss her, Ratty. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> then do it. Game. Make out. <laughs> no, make out. Come on. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Yeah, you tasted my it dick, different. boy. Game. Stop, dude. Don't. Why would you say that? Oh God, <laughs> dude. During their moment of God, Danny. I'm sorry. It tastes like more skinnish. <laughs> Stop. No, no. no, it doesn't, dude. No. So, no. so, Rat Pussy Pam, <laughs> you are now his throat goat. 
you did seem to, it seemed like a good face fuck. You were tearing up. It seemed like it was deep in your throat. You were a natural at that. <laughs> did you Did you enjoy it? I was it? tearing up because I was like, I felt bad for Rat Dick. Did you enjoy there it? There were tears of joy in her episode, Pam. RPP, be honest. No. You didn't enjoy it? No. Is it? Um, <laughs> I did. You sure? I, you I, said you enjoyed it. None of us believe you. Afterward, well, you said you enjoyed it. it also, for you, the camera. Oh, really? Did you really? When we <laughs> stopped action and we were like, all right, everybody's going home. We got more than enough. Danny literally made two wide eyed like we got more than enough footage. We don't need him to come. After that, then, then the condom came up and that was like and then Rat Dick was like, well, yeah, I guess if you want to use a condom. And then you went right back to it. I it said you, I said two minutes, I, and you went for like five minutes. I told Dan she's I going over t- two minutes. It how seemed can I like, keep time? I would have just it seemed like you wanted to you finish. Know. You finished the job, and it seemed like you kind of were having a good time with that. You wanted to finish that BBC. I don't know. <laughs> rat, rat, that's no, just my I, I did. I just said that because we were on camera. Ratic, there was a moment. I was acting, you know. There was a moment, Ratic, <laughs> where you seemed to be in the throes of psychological despair. And Leo and I thought it was serious enough that we had to stop the shoot and we had to intervene and we had to grab wide neck around the hips and and pull his penis out of your (laughs) girlfriend's mouth. Yeah. And he was saying things like, I I don't even get to nut. Come on, man. I know. He was like, he was not having it. (laughs) What do you mean? I get a butt. It made me feel I, bad. I, I can't arrange something like that and call it off. You, dude, you like, he I, had zero sympathy her. for Rat Yeah, dick. he did. <laughs> zero you know, sympathy. Man, hey, your man said I, it's all good. He, your man saying it good. So, dude, it was the craziest Shout shit. out to Wide Neck, complete yeah. sexual legend and comedy legend. Yeah, dude. Wide Neck, is, uh, he'll work with us some more, I hope, dude. dude was I, I, was, crazy. I was trying to get him to jizz either in the cockroach nest or just in the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. Well, you suggested that to him after everything he went through. He's like, man, not doing that man like <laughs> Danny was just like go in the corner jerk off on the roaches man and he's like man I ain't doing that man <laughs> so Ratzik what was going through your head walk us through that just that moment the breakdown was, my heart was dropping I felt so low I've, I've never felt anything like that in my life you know just really? seeing my girlfriend pleasure some BBC like that and hearing him talk like he didn't like, like the talk. Uh, you know, he said he was Kobe Bryant in 87. He said he was Michael Jordan in 93. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he oh, said, right, uh, right. I feel like Jordan in 93. That was crazy. When he hit no, that, I left. I don't know if you I, saw that. I, dude, when he was in a power yeah. stance, just yeah. drool is Stop. dribbling down Rat Pussy's chin. And he's like, man, I feel like Jordan in 93. Shit. <laughs> She's never sucked my dick like that, man. I, I really? try to. I, I was encouraging her. her. Yeah, dude. I think she, it, she, she was coaching. She had a yeah. lot to do. I was with like, it. RPP, can you do your hands on me like that? And like, she put her my dick in, you know, her mouth, and she only put one hand, like, barely put it in her mouth. Like, yeah, Fuck. yeah, yeah. <laughs> rat dick or rat pussy? Is it sort of like with uh, when you know when you're reaching in the cracks of your car because you dropped your cell phone and you can't quite reach it? Is that how it is when rat dick throat fucks you? <laughs> it just doesn't go very deep, and it's, Not, it goes all the way through my throat all right are you yeah. sure about that no i'm sure okay all right good well he how come you could deep throat him like he was like at least 12 inches and he was like at least more I don't than know halfway in your mouth <laughs> he was well, at I, least that's it was a big cop he had a big I don't know curve if it was 12, at the end he had a big curve at the yeah, end yeah it was it was <laughs> it was definitely like the stereotypical <laughs> bbc the curve was <laughs> fucked up i didn't see the curve that well. it dude good. it curves the curve was as long as danny's cock which way did it hurt yeah you know, it went way? south. South. It was okay. a downward curve. I noticed that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, thank you for verifying. Which <laughs> before you jumped on and said it did curve. So Rat Dick, you have that moment of psychological breakdown, but then we stop it. Everybody's on your side. Like we don't have to go through with this, except for Wide Neck, who was like, "Man, brother, don't even get to come." Yeah. <laughs> even Danny wanted to stop. I wanted to stop, dude. But then, like you and Rat Pussy went into the bathroom and you had a private talk. And you emerged, and you said, "Game on! I'm uh, sorry, I'm over it." Yeah. What was discussed in that bathroom? I was like, "Rap puss a pan. Why aren't you wearing a condom right now? Like, like he he could have so much. You he drank so much of his cum. Like, and she was like, ah, there's no cum on his dick.' I'm like, "Rap puss a pan. We said you were gonna wear a condom, so she immediately violated that. And I was like, "You want to kiss these guys? You're slurping down these cum. Like, I had to stop you from kissing them. I like, kiss them. I had to stop you at first. You wanted to." And, I'm like, there's a line around Pussy Pam. Like, you're drinking his cum. You gotta, put, you gotta put on a condom at least. And you have two more minutes. Um, and she's like, okay, let me go finish my job. 
What about this line? <laughs> is, is this line getting blurred now, though? Because you do want to produce now uh, a video where he fucks RPB, right? Well, you know, I felt really bad about it, but, you know, my my sadness has turned into, you know, motivation. I want Rapus Pam to get fucked, and I want to film it. I want to actually see her get pleasured by a BBC. You know, no, after, you don't. I don't know. The studio, you weren't saying. I want to see you scream and moan the way I would never be able to pleasure you, and just after oh, that. Okay. <laughs> well, Are you, you, you have similar feelings that. about your. No, own I'm not. I'm not. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's not so, true. So let's talk about this because I think it'd be good for us. After You're still like not over it. Let's You're talk about the it. not over because let's, after, get, let's help you guys. After the intermission, a brother did get his nut, mm-hmm. wide neck, and it was all good. Everybody seemed happy. <laughs> But there's turmoil in the RDR castle. Yeah. The RDR, the rat's nest. What am I saying? The rat's nest that has now been repossessed by the landlord and you're living there illicitly. Uh, squatting for a few more days. You are. What fights did you guys have in the nights and days after? Uh, you know, I woke up just, I woke up where she was sucking his cock and. Well, yeah, that's I was just like tossing and the turning. only furniture in the house is not covered in shit. So, of course, you oh woke up God. there. You know, I guess I wasn't being I was having nightmares in my sleep. She wraps Pam. She's fucking BBC. And I guess I bumped into her. She's like, right, take me into I, I guess I, I guess my elbow in my sleep or something. OK, none yeah. of that. Well, so you yeah. you slept on the wet spot. <laughs> yeah, where she came. Or she drew. I, I was just like bumping her in my sleep. She's like, right, to grow up, like relax. And, and did you think. I mean, did you maybe see, like, Michael Jordan with wide neck's face dunking with a boner in your dreams? And yeah, you definitely. Were, and you were playing center for the other team, and he just had his balls in. Definitely. <laughs> and, you know, she you. started screaming at me. She's like, you made me suck his cock. I'm like... And then Jordan had a real good year in 93, man. He did, He, fucking, he, reti- he retired because like, he had such a good year. Pan, chill out. He won a ship, and he won the, he won the MVP. But we had a little argument, and it it, it turned out okay. Did know? it get violent? It did get violent. I was just tossed her no. in my sleep. Guys, and you can't get violent again. We get violent. Frantic. You know, we're never again. Violent. No, I don't get no, violent. No, but then we had, like, makeup sex. And it was good? I sucked him off, like, five times. Oh, you my came God. Fi- you came five times? Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> that 20. cancels out the other two, for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Ratsik, it's okay. Did you come... More powerfully than usual? Yeah, it was a little more guilt, but it was more powerful, you know. Did it feel better than usual? Yeah. I think there's a biological reason for that. It's sperm wars. It's it, because you're trying to summon up all the sperm in your nutsack to do battle with the other guys. But now that I'm willing to Strong. let her fuck another guy, I'm kind of just like letting it, letting the power go. I'm just like, you know, she could get fucked by somebody more powerful than me. I want to see it. That's not true. It's true. Rap no, then, then you were like, oh, so now at work, you're going to like let these guys fuck you. Well, I mean, I thought because you were sucking that dick so good. I'm like, she's must have done this before. No. Uh, Where do you, Rap Pussy Pam, are there attractive guys at your work? No, they're old. How old? Because Leo like, and I are in our 30s. Yeah. 50s, 60s. Yeah. But they also probably have a lot of money in their retirement accounts. Yeah, but I'm not a homewrecker, and yeah, I have eyes for rat dick only. And I, I will say you've wrecked your own home, so there's at least one home <laughs> you've wrecked. <laughs> it wasn't my idea. Well, you guys have already uh, No, I don't mean before. sexual. I just mean it's in terms of the upkeep and the rent yeah. payment, you have wrecked at least one home. Well, because you yeah. you're probably going to have to yeah. leave But that if, place. if he had a job, we wouldn't be in this. It's well, true. if we went rented so many cars, like, because we rented that Lyft car, and that put us, like, lo- I was held trying behind. to get you a job, like, doing Uber yeah. Eats. Yeah. yeah, but I couldn't pretend to be you, like, and drive a car. It just wasn't the well, best. Not at your current yeah. body. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, <laughs> I couldn't pretend to be you, right, with Pam, so we, we went behind for, like, four months, now we're getting evicted. <laughs> yeah. And right. you had to suck a BBC. No, yeah. listen, it was something that's going to bring you closer together. I think it was probably better than the time with the fans, because this guy was more attractive than those fans, probably, maybe, right? Yeah. Did you say? Who were the yeah. fans? Yeah. And these guys, um, they were just some young Latino boys who watched the channel, and they like, they just fucked the shit out of Rat Pussy Pam. <laughs> Basically, it had to Ralph Watch. They were handsome. I dude. missed it. They were, it was. There were both. She killed it. Both. She's had multiple threesomes. Oh, okay. 
This was in. This was four years ago. Yeah. Uh, but she's had more than one threesome, <laughs> and he's he was there for both of them. So let's just say that this isn't the, their first. You know, this isn't their first rodeo. Yeah. After that, I went. I went really down the deep hole after that one because it wasn't for anything. It was for pleasure, and I saw her. Well, to be fair, I'm. I arranged something for you with an OnlyFans. She arranged model. some ball sack Tell and cock torture. I, I think her name's Indica. I believe she follows I know she us. She said she knows Brooks. Sure. And uh, we messaged her through his Insta. Through Brooks's. No, through Rat Dicks. Oh, yeah. You got to come out with that rat clout. And she says, like, she's down in, like, a week or a month. She's what down did she to say? punish my ball sack with okay. a hammer. Okay. Like, Is there going to be any <laughs> pleasure you derive from that? I don't know. I think it's just ball sack and cock torture. Okay. Well, that doesn't strike me as equal, rat pussy. <laughs> No, you can do what you want. Can She's only her? agreed to ball sack and cock torch up with a pen. You can't. Well, you need to talk to her. I'll t- we, no, you said we'd start a Tinder and we'd find some ram hoes on the street. We R- could do that, Ratic, too. Ratic, does, <laughs> it strike you, does it strike you as unfair that any swinging dick we can talk him into fucking your girlfriend, but it's a little harder when we try to find a woman who will fuck you? Yeah, it's very the homeless lady on the street won't even fuck me in your latest video. We discussed yeah. it. We we uh, yeah. we're gonna it's gonna be posted. And yeah, there was a homeless <laughs> woman with a disfigured face that didn't want to have sex with Ratic. Not even a little bit. Not even a kiss. Not even really a hug. Much of You're anything. Just gonna brush your hair and yes. pluck your nose hairs. That yeah. might help. Yeah, I thought Ar- the long hair was good. <laughs> Ariabella, if you like can you get up? Well, first of all, Ratic, do you mind getting off camera and getting naked for the lovely Ariabella? Should I get hard too? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Danny would love it. I remember her. She'd let me touch her tits. Don't, no. With one finger. With one. one Ari Bella, would you consent to him getting naked? Sure. Over there. I love entertainment. Great, great. And Rat Dick, I want to say that I commend you. You've been super well behaved lately. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He had a little bit of a Rat Dick flare up in one of our comedy <laughs> shows. Mm-hmm. And then I guess after one of our podcasts. Mm-hmm. But since Rat Dick, you've gone to two comedy shows and you've been an exemplary yeah, audience. Like one tomorrow. Chart. In our studio. He's been doing great. He's been killing it on the podcast. More like a suck dick chart. He, you, <laughs> you didn't commit an aggravated assault after Rat Pussy sucked that BBC, which, you know, Leo and I were 50 50. <laughs> we were worried about it, you know? I actually want him to fuck her now, but he's charging $1,000. No. You it, can talk him down, probably. For, for a dick suck. Maybe if I just have him fuck her. Dude, she's, she, that's just throat goat. No, that's, He'll get his throat goat for free. That's, that's your throat goat. That's, what you're, that's his throat goat. Come on, up his bims. Everybody's got a throat goat. So Ratic, you don't get fucked by anybody. It's gonna be him, right? I don't. I don't want to hook up with. But if, what if I arrange it? No, because you you get all hurt. I, I was hurt at first, but now I'm over it. You know. <laughs> you're not. Don't you I think don't RPP think deserves a little a little love from a couple of guys? You know. So just have a real orgasm. Well, I'm good. Do you make a re- orgasm? Not with my dick, just with my. Yeah, you I, I I don't remember last time I made you come with my dick, just my, my I mouth. I told you le- uh, yesterday. Well, that's fairly common. I, that probably wasn't accurate if she said yesterday, because she was just trying to fluff your ego. But I will say, and Aria Bella, <laughs> you will back me up on this. It's very common for women to come with just tongue stuff and not penile. I talked to a girl recently who cannot come with anybody but herself. So mm. it doesn't mean you have a small dick just because a chick can't get off with penile. Definitely not. So if it was a BBC, I'm sure she would come and just squirt everywhere. Well, we don't know cock. that. Mm-hmm. Those are I business. will not confirm that. I want to okay. see it. Yeah. Aria no, Bella, what gets you off? Um. Wow, now I'm flushing. Um, two fingers inside my pussy until I squirt. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. My favorite. Red dick. Wow. Imagine if those flushing. two fingers belong to you. <laughs> Have pussy Pam. I'm sorry. Oh, so uh, Aria Bella. Um, Do you ever fantasize about Rat Dick Ralph <laughs> reaching into a bag of Cheetos? Oh, licking no. the dust off his fingers and then just sticking them right up your hoo hoo. No, that sounds spicy. What if pH. he? What, what if he tried to? Cl- he made an effort to clean his bathroom and the roach infestation, and you know he was down there with paper towels and a little bit of Lysol, and then without washing his hands, he took a big runny shit. Oh. Which oh. he filmed and he sent no. to his fans. Then, <laughs> then he opened up a bag of corn puffs, oh. reached inside, threw them back, and then just went right to town on your pussy with his right hand. Why'd you have to do them like that? Yeah. <laughs> that was like so long. No. Obviously, no. Well, Ratik, you're going to get a chance to 
Should I try to jack off? Well, I let her know what she's missing, you know? Yeah, let her know what she's missing. Should I try to get hard in the corner? I don't, I don't try. know. Try. You, Ratik, you have no problem getting hard. I know you'll be able to get hard. It's not going to be an attempt. It's but for be internet it. purposes, yeah, you're not going to get hard, dude. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go masturbate in the corner, though. All right. <laughs> and should I finish the podcast in the mankini with just the rat? I, I think there'd be some roommates here who wouldn't love that. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I would about the, you know, it's no no man keen. I'm wearing it right now. Retic, I would say keep all bodily fluids in your body. I'm gonna go masturbate in the corner. Up, so <laughs> hold the mic for me. <laughs> well, this is welcome to the Leo and Daddy show. Yeah, this has been. I mean, this has been our life recently. So yeah, it's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. You were you were part of that. OnlyFans video. What did what did you right. think about that video as as Rat Dick is um, prepared? Like, what was your general kind of feeling about it? <laughs> I noticed when I walked in, it was like not a vibe at all for anyone. Yeah. And I just tried to do my best to like make everyone enjoy themselves and mm-hmm. have a good time, make a good video, and save the apartment because you look beautiful and you're ready. It's very nice. Yeah. Ruffles, very sweet. Do you? Do you feel any jealousy toward Aria Bella right now because your boyfriend's masturbating to her? Not at all. Okay. Ratik, which one of these girls are you looking at predominantly while you stroke yourself? Oh. Definitely, uh, definitely Aria. Wow. That's wow. not even my name. That's his, that's his way Aria. to get back. Aria. Is that the, his that, way to get to back? To be fair, that was pretty close. <laughs> he just said a vowel. Yeah. Dude, Ratik, is this your way of getting back at your girl? RPP. Uh, okay. How do you feel about this, Raposi Pam? Uh, now that he's rubbing it in your face while he rubs it in his pants. I mean, it's fair. I mean, she's gorgeous. You're so, so. sweet. Well, how about this? Because, you know, this is probably the right thing to do at the, at the moment. Why don't you say, in your estimation, hard. how many of Rat Dick's penises would have to, to, to be stacked on top <laughs> of each other in order to finally <laughs> clear wide neck's <laughs> penis? How many? Probably yeah. like two. Two. It's not four, dude. Get out of here. Four is a lot. Two or three. Two or three. Okay. Yeah. Three. three. So his penis might be three times larger than yours, Ratik. What about sideways? Like girth? Two, yeah, oh, girth. girth. He was. I don't think he was that thick. Dude, which Maybe. is it? Or three, dude? Two or three? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, a lot. Three, that's dude. A, <laughs> three. That's the average penis is five inches long. So like, give or take five inches, it was you know two or three bigger than yours. Yeah, but but two to three times bigger, dude. Three times bigger than you is fucked up, man. That's yeah. just. Too- what do you think, Aria Bella? You're looking off screen right now. What do you think about that? Can you can you see it? Oh yes, I see it. <laughs> What do you think? It's all her. Mm. Uh, do you do you wish it was at least part yours? No. Mm. <laughs> no. Give me a pass. Uh, no, dude. <laughs> it's not um, not good for me. Okay. Mm. Sorry. Mm. What's wrong with it? <laughs> um, I don't. It's just not, not for me. Like, <laughs> I'm not into committed men mm. in like six year long relationships. Yeah. But mankinis are so hot. <laughs> I love the mankinis and the shoes, but yeah. In the event that you <laughs> went out one night and you partied really, really hard and Rat got you, you know, he, he put his penis in you and he fucked you. I'm not going to say he got you pregnant, but he did come inside of you, Ari Bella. What would uh-huh. be your first act the next morning? Hospital? <laughs> oh, okay. Would you get a rape examination? Yeah. Are you right? Uh, ah, okay. yeah. So you're saying there's no way you would no ever consent way. to having sex with the rat, <laughs> no. no matter how intoxicated yeah. you were. No. We're gonna get him in shape and his hygiene where it needs to be, and he's gonna be a different and a man. And a comb. And a comb. Ratik, where are you going? Just wash my hands. He's washing his hands. I get a haircut all the time, but he could do something with he's it. He's like, this is my vibe. Well, it is. I like the long hair, but he could get like a haircut to make shape it a little bit. Maybe like layers. Yeah, yeah he could layer it up and comb it, like yeah, trim up the bla- bangs. I don't know. Yeah. You think he's got split ends, Aria Bella? Maybe. Ratik, I think split ends are what's keeping you away from the women. Ratik, I... Maybe, that's what Pam says. I've split ends. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ratik, the hey. full... Hey. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was that flirtatious hay over there? <laughs> <laughs> my God. Ratik, I was going to just keep asking him questions about Aria Bella, but we'll move on. <laughs> See, you do not have an ID. I still don't have an ID. I need to definitely get one of those, but I feel like if we go to the DMV, I'm going to get arrested So you, so you can't go to a bar? 
I'd go to a bar. I got a picture of my ID. And that works. Yeah. I could probably get a job, possibly, with a picture of it. You can't fly in an airplane. Can't fly in an airplane. Do you feel like a rat in a cage without an ID? I feel like a rat in a cage, man. It's a cage that's invisible. So, Retic, what is your game plan as far as your future? Because you're afraid that if you go get an ID from the DMV, that cops are going to pour into the room with guns drawn. Yeah, man. I don't want to be put in a real rat cage, you know. I don't think that's going to happen, dude. Well, he is infamous. That's the technical term for it in the state of California. For what? Well, we don't really know. Oh. But Retic, mainly for not going to court. Retic, did you fail to go to a probation appointment? Yeah. Yep. RPP. Okay, so... <laughs> you know, I didn't say yes or no. If you, just, you know if you just went to the appointment, it would be all good? So yeah, they're probably going to violate me for like not going, and it's, that's just a bunch but of bullshit. But if you went in the first place... Yeah, but I couldn't because me and Rat Pussy Pam had some issues that we're dealing with, and I just had to wait till those issues cleared up, and then now that those issues are cleared up, I probably could, but... It's just, uh, it's been like two years. You thought you weren't going to pass the drug test? <sighs> just, I w had a job and I do work release, stuff like that. I couldn't go all the way to Riverside and do work release. And it's been you know, almost three years later without me checking in. So I'm like, maybe it'll just end if I just wait seven years. I don't think that's how the law works. Is that <laughs> how the law works, Leo? I don't think so. And unfortunately, uh, it'll probably be on your record. And it'd it just be tough to like get a job tough to drive t tough to do all that stuff and you you, you kind of want it i think you should face it at some point yeah i need to get a like a bail money like you have like three racks so if i do go to jail i get bailed out and fight on the outside i don't have that money retic is there anything to be said for coming clean right now and just calling the probation office no i think there might be something to be no, said. no i don't think we, i don't want to do that retic you and i can go to my next appointment no, together no. i'm on probo i told you no you're not allowed to call the bridge i'm not, not gonna, gonna do it but, uh, but dude like i'm telling you man being on probation is pretty great i got like three black people to love me yesterday because like there was automatic trust when i went to the san francisco 49ers viewing party with like these old school black dudes love football like you know they kind of run inglewood they're like hey my man's on probation he's one of us Dude, if you come to a meeting with me, like, you know, yeah, wear the rat suit. Wear the rat suit. You need as many black people in your corner as possible. Ratchet, this is another thing I want to talk about. It doesn't seem like black people fuck with you. My NBA Mike, he's kind of my friend. He said he agreed to go uh, slap suit the next weekend. So, Do you think NBA Mike fucks with you? I think so. I think so. Be careful in slap suit. Yeah, we might go out there. Damn, we might go dude. out there. Right? We were gonna, I was going to try to get fucking um, Wideneck to fuck grab his pan out there, but he says a thousand bucks. Maybe if I say you're actually going to have sex with her, because he's going, he's going to car with him. Damn, that'd be insane if he fucked her in Slap City. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's down. a good video, no. dude. Right, Dick. Right. Right, Dick, how much would I have to pay you? Check this out, dude. How much would me and Papa Leo have to pay you to light a bag full of dog shit on fire on the L.A. County Jail fucking doorstep? <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Mate, no, definitely not. Never not gonna do that one. What about the Inglewood Police Station? A police station would be easier. Really? Yeah. You would go into a police station or go up to the door and light a bag of dog shit on fire. Yeah, yeah, probably not. Not not at the jail though. You hate jail. There's too many cops over there. Uh, yeah, and the police station. We all know those are devoid of cops, right, Leo? Uh, yeah. The one around Creeptown, I never see anything going on. Wait, over there. Do you? Are you trying to convince me right now that there are no police? Inside a police station, they all seem pretty dead around where I live. I don't know, but I'm sure there's some cops near the Rat think hobos, hobos post up outside of them. Would you outside. would you go around like a police station, passing out your own wanted sign? No, <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. I want to go to jail, man. Like that would suck. Like, Rat Jack, do you hate jail? Yeah, that sucked. Going you had a bad experience during COVID. Yeah. When I was in my cell yeah, for Johnny checked hours. Johnny Mitchell. Uh, a lot of people thought you were bullshit, but Johnny Mitchell said it, it checks out because the the lack of supervision that was that they needed for that shit to happen to you was pretty high. And the only time they had that much non supervision was COVID times, which is was when you were in when that you were in there. Back. And Ratty, twenty four hours inside your cell for how many days? For like a good. 17 days dude. wait what what do you mean 24 hours you didn't have lunch outside? dude he, they, 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 they just slide through your lunch. door dude they walks around the table and bring it right back up what? and we were in our t uh, cell for like 24 hours and then that was after i got kicked is out is there a tv in there because i well, that's after the redhead beat my fucking ass oh, for not complying do. and then they, they had like seven guys jump me because i was crying all day because i was like just like fuck i don't know what's going on going through and i was just like crying because i was like 
getting boxed around by the red guy, my boxers, and then he sent all these guys to beat me up because the Mexican was like, oh, this fucking white guy is crying. Like, what the fuck? Like, Standard shit, Ari, though. Yeah, and then, like, I got... I just walked it out. I'm, I I could never go to jail. So, you're crying. <laughs> is that why you had to stay in your cell for 24 hours? because no, I got jumped by all the the white the, the white guy with red hair, the so, gingers. Yeah, yeah, we know the ginger. Yeah, he fucking all his, uh, the white, the woods to jump me, and I got fucking jumped out, and I got a big black guy, and they put me into another dorm, but it was like a... It was like it was like it was a regular dorm, but everyone was in their cells for like protective, yeah. protective services. Not not even protective, just everyone was in like a, their cell all day long because COVID. They just locked everybody down and put them in their cell. I had a bunk mate with me for after like four days, but for the first four days I was completely alone. I was just like withdrawing from like getting beaten up. I wasn't on the talk rap with Pam because do you does one withdraw from getting beaten up? Is that a yeah. drug? <laughs> you on the phone with me and you're like, I'm about to get beat up. Yeah. How often were you calling rap pussy? When I was with the ginger, like a lot, maybe like maybe like two to three times a day whenever I could. And then, Aww. and then when I got into solitary confinement, I could only call her after like the first like week being in there. And then you guys are cute, man. And then you guys I actually like, love really each cute. other. I had to request like to go to like, um, protective custody. Cause the ginger got, he got put in the same dorm with me. And I was like, yo, this guy's going to rape me. See, this is why like, because everybody in jail is like, even if they're white or Mexican, they kind of act like black dudes. Yeah. That is just, we were talking about this, how black people recently have been fucking with me. And we don't think black people fuck with you, Rat Dick. Uh, we got to get him to fuck with you. Think you're gay. And, exactly. That's yeah. what we said. We said he's he's dirty and he does gay shit. And black dudes don't fuck with that. And Leo, if you can't cut it in jail and you're so unpopular that you have to go to protective custody, that just means like universally black guys aren't going to like you. Yes. Protective custody sucks. There's a lot of rapists in there. What do you think you can do to get the black community on your side? Uh, let rap with Pam have sex with White Neck. That's yes. a start. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so this video coming out is going to be huge. Just stop being so emotional. I'm not emotional with Pam. I was a little sad seeing Deb. I've, I've it's because he loves you. I love you. I love you. I still love you. Throwing jabs like low key. Verbal or physical Ver ones? Verbal. Well, he didn't answer. Best to specify I, that. When I called him yeah. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just because given the history. Like, RPP, when I called him history. yesterday. When I called him yesterday, he did answer the phone and say, yeah, you know, RPP was gargling on the BBC. I haven't kissed like her yet. Like things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. RPP's yeah. gargling on the BBC. He'll just, like, jab that at you. Yeah. yeah. Are you worried, Rat Pussy, that he's going to use this as a psychological get-out-of-jail-free card for all of his infidelities? So whenever he cheats on a girl and you have an issue with... Or whenever he cheats on you with another girl and you have an issue with it, he's just going to be like, hey, you sucked that BBC. Um, a little bit, yeah. Right, Dick, are you know, were you thinking about that, or did I just give you that idea? I've actually been asking her, like, can I go at least eat some pussy out? Because she's like, no, how about you eat your dick? So I'm like, well, rap spam, you fucking suck the guy's dick. Like, I should be able to eat some pussy now, right? Right, Dick, where do you think right now, if I told you you had 24 hours to get some pussy, no hookers, how would you go about getting it? Damn. Shoot. Uh, your best chance would be to give me a call and be like, how do I start? And I'd be Leo. like, it starts with some Listerine and floss. It's and then it goes to shampoo and conditioner. And then it goes to a, a, haircut. a haircut. A haircut. It goes to a nose trimmer. A like, nose trimmer. Like yeah. And then I think, right, Dick, maybe most importantly of all, a good night's sleep. Yeah. You look like you've gone months without one of those. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm going to them drinking a little bit at night to deal with the stress. Well, then maybe like a like a like some kind of, uh, I want to say facial, but I don't want to put you back to you know the place she he, she didn't get a, a facial or anything but you know he, he i'm sure he wanted she to almost the, yeah no we, we'd get you some skin care like you the know under bag the under bag mm -hmm. it's yeah. sleep right Dick. you gotta get that sleep sleep, baby. sleep. so and after sleep and all that is, so so after that yeah i think we got to get him on ozempic yeah maybe diuretics <laughs> diuretics ozempic yeah we to gotta get, get trimmed up a little bit yeah right Dick. it's just like um you're not fat, but you've just I, you've abused your body so much that your body is just like it's yeah, inflamed. Already. Yeah. yeah, I need to start working just out again. Just inflammation. There's inflammation. That's what yeah. it is. Remember, Sam used to go on walks, but now we don't go on walks anymore. So we need to. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You, don't, you don't walk the dogs? Yeah, we do. We walk them to the park. We used to like more, like walk to Griffith, like Elysian, going like. You do not miles. walk to fucking it was, Griffith. It was easier dude. when we had a car. You, Ari Bella, what do you think about that? No, yeah, we don't walk anymore. Oh wait, no, we take the dogs like, miles and miles to Griffith. Park. Know, when we too. had a car, we would drive there and we would hike every day. Do those dogs not but walk? But it's harder now without a car. Come clean about dogs. the dogs. How often are you taking the dogs walking? I took we them walk to the like laundry once room a day. today. 
the laundry room is how many feet from your door? It's like a good, like, fuck. You have to walk like a good, like, five, two minutes to get there. <laughs> it's enough exercise for a bunch of dogs later. I, uh, Yesterday we took them to the car. Hey, the car is not a good excuse because I uh, I haven't had a car up for, a, you know, a little bit now. Cause I but, got like, having bendy. four dogs, like, yes. how do you... You need to, well, you need Take to leave. Take them to Griffin. Well, what? I get it, but you need to leave your apartment and just walk them somewhere every day. Yeah, those those oh, little yeah. bastards need some exercise. Right, right, Pussy, I don't like how you're presenting that question to us. Like, it's mine and Leo's fault that you have four dogs. <laughs> no, I'm not. This is like somebody saying, like, hey, I have nine <laughs> kids with five dads. How am I supposed to pay for them? Well, First of all, you should have paid for a Trojan condom. Okay, yeah. that's the answer to this question. So right now, you've got a couple choices. Either buck up and get some leashes or throw two of them off the balcony. <laughs> the white neck wants one. I know a good rescue. Yeah, no, no. We, I we like can, my idea. We can take... Uh, <laughs> there's one dog you guys can't part with, right? Which I one? No, I love... Well, I want to get rid of two. There we go. What's that balcony for? Just... Well, it's only on the first floor. They've already jumped off the balcony. They're, they're not your problem once they hit the ground. <laughs> no, okay, so the thing is... Um, those could be True. sold. Those could be sold. They're cute dogs. Well, wide neck ones one. He's starting right. a thousand bucks. But they're full of I, worms, aren't they? I'm gonna have to. Stop. No, oh, the, <laughs> the pugs are clean. I'm gonna have to have Rappus Pam suck his dick and give him one of my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the pugs are clean, but Chuby's got worms. Uh, Chuby might have worms. He doesn't wipe his ass recently, but yeah, wide neck's gonna get one of my pugs and some more. Throat. Those, those dogs are covered in their own urine, right? Because they just roll around in it. The apartment floor is covering it. They've been pissing on my bed recently. It's bad. Those no, well, that's the only surface left to piss on. Yeah. It's fucked. Wow. They've been pissing on the bed, too? Yeah. Damn. Those hey, hey, Fed, are say hello to the lovely well, couple. Hey, Fed. That's I didn't bring my bong today. No bong today. I appreciate that very much. Yep. Fed is saying he appreciates <laughs> Ratic not bringing Wait, the bong. It? It's what, all good. Why? I mean, that's really the mainly the reason they're peeing everywhere and shit is because you guys just can't take them outside. Come on. You guys should walk them in the morning. Well, they are fugitives, well, kind of. I, yeah. I don't think they could stroll past the leasing office and be like, oh, good day, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, yeah just take like, I work 40 hours a week. I know you so. can. Wow, yeah. that's a lot. So he could take them out in the morning he when I'm not be. there. Right. And when I come back, I don't mind walking them. Ratic, do you really, I mean, I'm sorry to be dismissive of that, Rat Plus Pam. That's great. You are, you're winning the bread. But Ratic, do you really just hang out at the house all day that's and all don't do anything with yeah, smoke Yeah, I mean, I try to, to make money on my phone messaging fans but i just get caught up taking dabs yeah, you, dab to dab. You, you can't even do a good job of filming yourself shitting because you're taking so many dabs it's yeah. a lot of work to dab bro like sometimes i take so many dabs and then i take a shit and I, for, I forget to film my shit i'm like Fuck. that's a big that's a blow to his bank account leo if he forgets to take that shit so right i'm it. actually very curious you wake up in the morning i imagine it's not long before you take a fat dab what are you doing from 9 a.m to noon shit man probably and now I have my YouTube analytics check out. So that's pretty cool. I checked Damn, that dude. out, man. Like, I wish I could tell you to stop doing that, but it is <laughs> it is fucking addictive to look at your YouTube analytics. I have that to look at. And I have a YouTube video I'm going to drop possibly. So I'm like, I'm like looking through my phone. I have like a 20 minute interview with Big Chase Mom. So I'm trying to look through that. Maybe I'll upload that today. All my Sash homies are like, don't upload it. It's, gonna be t it's terrible. Like, they don't want anything to do with you anymore. And I'm like, but I have this. They gave me permission. Yeah. So I'm just like debating, should I post this or not? Yeah, but like on an average day, right now you're giving me the best example of rat dick. Just like Leo, when he tells me what he does all day, he's like, yeah. I don't sext any 19-year-olds. No. I don't jerk off with the window open while school lets out. No. I don't sexually three, assault my cat. Dirty, no. <laughs> well, enough about my cat. I, I don't it's rub my, my cheese-ridden penis head across a bagel, then oh, eat it for a snack. On, dude. <laughs> Right, Tech, what do you actually do? Are there days where you're just dabbed out and you're just jerking off all morning? Basically, yeah, just until like 12 or 1. You jerk off? We'll take like a long shit in the morning for like, do you like jerk 8 off? to 10. Do you to porn and shit? Are you addicted to porn too? Because goddamn, you have enough addictions. Yeah, I mean, I do I, I, I do jerk off to porn sometimes. How often? Like, How often, be honest? Maybe like every day, every morning. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, every day, every morning. Then like, oh, I can't fuck up spam now, so I got to stop jacking off. Has that been a problem recently with your love life? No, I'm mean, also go fucker, but I'm like it's better if I don't jack off. Sure, get, like you just get he gets in hedonistic day, so it's just like weed jerking off, weed jerking off, or dabs jerking off because weed and dabs are a different thing, really. But dabs jerking off, dabs jerking off until he, he rat pussy gets home. Meanwhile, the dogs are just shitting and pissing everywhere, and you 
Are they just all over the place while you're there, right, Dick? Or you leave them on the patio? I leave them in the house and just let them shit in that apartment. I don't, I don't like to leave them on the patio. I have the patio door open, so there's like a bunch of shit on the patio now. Like, the whole fucking thing of we'll shit. clean that, dude. I do, but we're getting evicted, so it's like, at this point, we're not going to deposit back. It's, yeah. That's you're going to get charged. Yeah. <laughs> How much was the deposit? <laughs> we gave him like three grand. Uh, uh, yeah. Would you let Rat Pussy Pam blow the landlord for that three grand back? I was thinking, I'll let the rep was going to have sex with Leonard every day until we didn't pay our rent just to stay there. Damn. That's nice that you can just auction off her pussy. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm a pimp now. So, Ratik, <laughs> when the sheriff inevitably comes, because that is the next step. I think it's the 16th, right? Right, right Pussy Pam? I think so. I, I would recommend blowing your dabs off the balcony or out the window because if the sheriff's knock and you just let a cloud loose and you have to bail and jump off the balcony and run, dude, if they have to see that fucking, if they open the door, or worse, they battering ram the door down, Fuck. and they see that cloud. They're gonna know a motherfucker just split. Yeah, bro, <laughs> that's true. You know, I'm not gonna stick around, low key, but uh, it's a sketch situation. I, maybe Rapper Spam should message her fucking uncle and we should out to Chino this weekend. Rapper Spam, you guys gonna we run could. this weekend? That'd be sick, we dude. We gotta film their their fucking flight. Oh, 100. percent That sounds amazing. Honestly. So, how's the uncle's place in Chino? It's nice. He has uh, like a two bedroom, no, two story home. It has like five rooms, and he has a back house that has a one bedroom, and yeah. that's what we might rent out. Cool, Ariabella. Yeah. After, if you were a landlord who lived in Chino Hills, <laughs> would you ever, would you ever provide lodging <laughs> to these two? No. <laughs> no. Look, Look luckily, do you have anything to say to her, Rappos and Pam? What do you want to get ghetto? Like be like, oh, <laughs> oh you all high and mighty over there on that side of the couch. <laughs> I'm not it. even trying to be like that. It's just like I'm honest. I don't. Yeah. Know. <laughs> they didn't do a good job this time around. But see, that's what life's about. All right, you're gonna get better the next time. The next place you live is gonna be your uncle's. Yeah, I want to move to my uncle's, but I'm telling him he has. We have to get rid of two dogs. Though. Two dogs, really? So, yeah. That's crazy. That's fifty percent cool of your dogs. dogs. Rajik, Rajik, do you He's talk to the dogs? That. What do you do with the dogs when you're really dabbed out? I, I just give them a lot of treats, you know. I don't put peanut butter on my dick, but I do feed them a lot of peanut butter, and they just, like, shit all over the floor. It looks like peanut butter paste all over the floor. It's disgusting. It's probably not that good for them, bro. It's don't probably not. I don't put it on my dick or anything, but I do give them a lot of peanut butter. They eat berries. And so they're just, you'll don't, be high out of your mind. You should give them any fruit, bro. You're going to kill a dog. So you'll be high yeah, out of your mind, it. and just, like, they'll just be shitting, like, <laughs> two of them at the same time, taking a shit, dragging Dude, their ass You should the floor. smell it. It's so bad. Like, I've smelt it. Yeah, I watched your girlfriend get throat fucked in it. <laughs> you smelt the aftermath, and when they actually fucking shit, shit and fart it's bad bro it goes you know it's like where is this shit coming from it's like, what are you no. gonna do man oh well, what are you guys gonna do cute, it, we have our they're baby pugs and we raise them they're, they're, you can't they are cute where'd them. you get them why did you say yes to those we our dog chuby and mochi had sex we filmed it and then they had puppies three months later what happened to chuby chuby's still there he's um, mochi <sighs> What happened to Mochi? They're still there. Oh. Yeah, we still have them. They're the parents. Chuby doesn't get as much attention anymore. Wait, how many dogs are out there? There's four. <laughs> we used to have five. So we there's had six two. at one point. And you gave two away. One to a hooker. We were watching one all summer, and yeah, we gave one away to back to the owner. Oh, did one die? No, we had three puppies. We were watching somebody's dog all summer. At one point, we had six dogs over the summer for like three months. And then we gave one back to the owner. We gave we sold one to a prostitute that lives in my apartment. Yeah, I know, yeah. I was thinking about that prostitute lives in my apartment. Can we hit her up and maybe yeah, arrange? Fuck her, dude. Like, see, see Ratik, I don't like how Ratik, his only option is paid sex. Let's talk about this. So if we uh, gave if we gave Ratik yeah, a forty eight hour extreme makeover, Leo, and yeah. you and I both had to get him laid, yeah. I think the best move would be, and we can't play on like because I'm sure you know Leo, he's got some blowjob slave somewhere. <laughs> Excuse me, blowjob empowered <laughs> woman. Stop he's it. got some chick and you know like she's Definitely. just a fucking mess and she lives like in Bakersfield Stop and Leo could probably talk her into doing stuff with you Retic but mm. I don't want to use okay. co I don't want Leo to abuse his position it's to true. get you laid yeah, really like, you could talk to somebody uh, there's a girl out there who would probably blow you now I mm. think there's a better thing we could do though. we gotta After find a civilian Leo how are we finding civilian. a civilian this is my idea and then I want That's I'm gonna I'm gonna spit out an idea and then you're gonna go with an idea because and this is like all like taking out all the stop signs. Yeah, I make over. You got to smell clean, deodorant, all that. We give you a very European look, mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. and then you okay. do not talk at all. <laughs> okay, and you are from Slovakia. 
And I go around and I'm just like, I'm fucking hanging with my boy Sly. He's fucking DJ and shit. He's big time. Ha ha ha, you DJ. You just go, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, all you is. say is, yeah, I don't know English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, the, the visual artist from uh, Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> I play warehouse. <laughs> if you can do I that, do, do that, dude. If you can I do drive, that, do that. I but. drive Fiat. <laughs> I, I smoke yeah, cigarettes. I play piano. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm. Uh, he just got to have a messenger bag and yeah. aviators. Exactly. And he's got to wear a sweatband over his hair. Exactly. And he's just got to have the tightest fucking jeans yep. ever made with cowboy boots mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of rings. Yeah. And you just got to be a Swedish fucking DJ dude yep. slash visual artist. Yeah. And who, I think, yeah. who might do heroin. That'll explain like who your kind of decrepit look. Who because heroin? heroin, like if the guy's a DJ from yeah. Sweden and he does heroin, it's a completely different thing than than you doing whatever you and do. And in fact, you're going to be doing drugs that day. You're probably going to be doing coke because that one's going to get you a We get chick. some coke too. Yeah, we'll get coke because that for sure gets you some yeah. whack chick pussy. in uh, some whack LA chick. Yeah. Some whack LA chick would fall for that Slovakian in, I would give oh. it an hour. And here's what we do With too. me, of course, but yeah, an this, hour. This is sort of a violation of one of the rules we laid out, but we get a bunch of Danny Mullen fans to come <laughs> and pretend they're fans of him. And just blow him <laughs> up, I dude. Dude, that was I went out once, right, Dick? I'm gonna tell you this. Last spring, I went out with a bunch of the guys from UC Berkeley who were fans of the channel. Oh. We went out to the bars in San Francisco, and I had like nine college age men just circled around me. I was the sun and they were the planets. And they were just hyping me up to gone. every barback bartender or fucking bum that would walk by us. And yeah. th that's a recipe for getting some pussy, my man. Yeah. It's nice, dude. It's nice. But yeah, I think uh, the, the 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 DJ play, you you like dress up and you go out and just hang out. Um, <laughs> all, you know, we could have a, a good, I, it, like the way to do it to ensure it would happen is like we go to a popping kind of hotel bar and we get a hotel and then, oh. got, and then it's like, and then I'd be like, yeah, you guys want to party in the room? We got, oh yeah, we got Coke. Boom. I'm, I'm going to be like closing the door and be like, enjoy your outfit. As long as there's Coke, night. I'm sure. I'd be like, don't talk too much. Coke will help. Coke I'd, will help. I'd look at you and be like, don't talk too much. All of a sudden I come back and they're like, what the fuck is this? And she's like, I just wanted to show you my ratic videos. My bad. Dude, fucking uh, my ratic videos. <laughs> oh, he's like, this is, yeah. These like, fucking, the no. shit video. Yeah, bro. He shows them the shit time. video. Can we show Ari a shit video? But I want to keep talking about this. Oh, I love the yeah, idea, right? Well. I love the idea of you going to like the standard yeah or a rooftop party somewhere in west hollywood and you have to have a room in that hotel mm -hmm. because once uh you know a strong gust of night air hits a girl in the face <laughs> she's gonna sober up from the swedish delusion yeah you know and that maybe also yeah. if you're getting a little fresh at that point <laughs> yeah. because we can give you a makeover but the yeah. shitty foods and drugs you've ingested, it's those true. are going to come out through your pores. They're lighter right. than air. Yeah. And we don't want you to hit the streets and for her to get a fresh whiff. Right. So it's got to be in the room. What yeah. else can we... What else can I we... think that assures... I mean, he would need a lot of help because he would need us. Like, he can't do it on his own, I don't think. That's no, the thing. Yeah. He could do it with with one of the great... One of the great duo wingmen. I'll get a wire in my I mean, ear. we've gotten mudflat fucking pussy. We've gotten got guys... We've mudflat pussy. Well, we got him a kiss on the Vegas Strip, which is pretty okay. difficult to do. Come there on. There you go. There you go. Come on, dude. He was bigger. Now he's, like, lost weight. Like, he's a handsome guy. He's, he's so guy. handsome. If he got jacked... I mean, Mudflap's the best-looking guy in the crew. I think I saw a picture of him back in college. He know? was an absolute pimp. So he fucked up. Mudflap wants to charge. He said twenty-five thousand dollars to fight me, though. He was messing around, but he was one of dude. You guys shouldn't fight. I don't. I wish, him, match. I wish people cared enough to pay twenty-five grand. That'd be dope. I, yeah, I'm yeah, down yeah. for it though. Yeah. Ariabella, if Ratzik had coke, it really is a cheat code. In my younger days, pulling out a bag of coke at a bar in a place like San Francisco. If there are white bitches around, they're gonna come running. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're definitely. a farmer who threw the chicken feet out and yeah. like offer them a drink, like right. buy them a drink. Yep. In a bag, they will probably go. Oh, bag's good. They're going Damn. back to your room, bro, and you're good. It's like, and all you had to do is not say too much. Just like say of all much. my entire friend group, the guy that has the best game just <laughs> talks the least, and he just has a good vibe about him. He's in a general good mood. And he talks the least, and he has the best game. I'm trying to think if there's no anybody. I'm trying to think who we could call right now and have a rat dick practice this character. Oh, this is great. I was going to just call Wide Neck and just be like, hey, what up, man? How are you, dude? And just not tell him that I'm like on the pod right now and see what he says about rat dick. Like, what's, what do you think about rat dick, man? He'd be like, ah, oh, man. He want me to fuck his girl, man. Yeah, I do want him to fuck your other spin. 
You're playing. I gotta. Not. I'm trying to get this bit set up. No, get it. I, I'll, I'll give you, you about it RPP. Yeah, sure. RPP. You were a superstar, though. Uh, do you regret? Do you think you'll ever regret doing that video? I regretted it immediately. Oh, oh come on! Come on! Oh. Why? It's just I, I've never pictured myself doing something like that. Okay, but when, yeah. you know, I mean, in the throes of passion, though, you seem to be having a great, grand old time. And then, like, my family... Hey, is this Angelique? I'm sorry, like, Rat Pussy. Is Bellamy, this Angelique? Absolutely. Yes. Like, hey, Angelique, one second. We, um, I just I wanted to introduce Angelique, who's a Patreon member of oh, the great. channel, big fan of the channel, Hell yeah. has come out to at least one show. I uh, So, Angelique, we've been hanging with this guy. His name's Sven. And okay. he's pretty dope. He's like this house DJ or like deep trance DJ or something from Sweden. Oh, okay. And he's cool. He's just got aviators and a sweatband. And he's got a messenger bag and cowboy boots. And uh, Sven, which city, which city are you from in Sweden? What'd you say? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm talking to him. I'm sorry, Angelique. Uh, Swiss, Swiss town. Uh, he, so you're from Swiss town. Swiss town. Okay. Yeah, let's get these headphones on. This, I guess, this probably. Yeah, it'll yeah, yeah, go yeah, through his headphones. I told him, yeah, yeah, it'll go through his headphones. One second, Sven's got to put the headphones on. All right. So, Sven, can you tell me the difference between trance and house music? Yeah, the beats. Uh, I have a big dick. I want to fuck. Danny says I fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Sven, you're getting ahead of yourself. I think, I think a better way to get what you want actually would be to talk about the beats rather than the yeah. fucking in america that's how we do it at least yeah yeah so we talk about beats and then we fuck later if the girls like us so consent, then, consent you know i noticed your consent. your sophomore effort the that new album i think it's called um uh, polar bear delight i i noticed that there was no more crab scratching you've kind of dis disowned that technique can you tell me about that decision yeah it's rat scratching now rat scratching yeah, rat scratch rat I, scratching yeah <laughs> I uh, mainly, mainly scratched rat D. This is what he, he would I'm do. Inspired this is what from, he would do. I'm inspired from somebody in your crew. This is what he would do with the girls in the fucking room, dude. But I'm trying to fuck. My girlfriend recently sucked BBC. And, oh my uh, god! All right. Uh, See this. Hey, you're not. Right. You're not Ratic. You're not committing to the character, and this is the problem, man. Like it's. You get jealous because Angelique, by the way, Rat Pussy Pam got throat fucked by a BBC on camera yesterday. Or no two. Way. Yeah, it happened. It, it fucking happened. And now Rat Dick rightfully wants to go out and get some revenge pussy. And Leo and I are theorizing the best way to get him laid. And I think you'll agree the best way is to say he's a, a trance DJ and take him to LA bars. And for him is to shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Honestly, <laughs> it, I agree with that. Yes. 100%. That's and, the move. Angelique, what would you have to do? In order to have sex with Rat Dick, or what must be offered to you? Um, probably like thirty shots of tequila. I said. Wow, a deadly we amount. Can get that. We get that. Yeah. That's all, huh? Yeah. Or maybe like five dollars. Okay. Five dollars. I, th I think now she's doing a bit. Right. Angelique, what would it really take if I told you, like, hey, let's negotiate? Rat Dick Ralph's gonna have unprotected sex with you until completion. How much would that yeah. cost? Would this be posted on OnlyFans? No, or what? no. This would be in the privacy of a hotel room. Maybe a Pornhub. All right. Um, I'll say an Instagram shout out and five uh, k. Five k. Ratic, I think you can come up with five k, dude. Honestly, fuck? just sell those Ratic photos to like a couple of your Instagram followers. You can make that. Just a few, man. I mean, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a busy week. I'll be honest Honest. with you. But Ratic, I mean, you're already getting kicked out of the apartment. Fuck paying off that back rent, dude. I say get Angelique in New York to fuck you. She's in New York. Exactly. Yeah, you're very interested in this, aren't yeah, you, So I have to fly her out here. And that's that's going to be another 900 bucks or so. Yeah. yeah. She can fucking wrap Spam's uncles in the one bedroom. Can you really do that? <laughs> well, can we wrap Spam watch? Can wrap Pussy Pam watch is what Ratic wants to know. Oh, of you course, she can watch. join. Oh, wow. Ratic, you know, I, I think you're, you know, you're kind of making a, a molehill out of a mountain here, thinking you're going to be able to get together $5,900. <sighs> Maybe, Maybe the fundraiser it. money. Go, go back to the $5 and some tequila. Sure, we can make sure. This happen. Two warehouse jobs. 
Yeah. Sounds great. I believe in him. I know he can do this. Well, Angelique, I appreciate that. And this is good. I, Ratic needs his confidence <coughs> boost. Because I thought you were going to quote us a number in the seven figures. And I thought you were going to be like, there would need to be a gun in my mouth. Just 30 shots. 30, 30 shots. shots. <laughs> five, so, uh, 30 pricey shots night. or 5K. I mean, she, I or 5K. she'd be incapacitated at that point, right, Dick? So, I mean, legally it would be rape. <laughs> but as long as you were getting yours, you know, yeah, mm-hmm. I don't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, Angelique, thank you so much. We're going to keep grilling okay, Ratic okay. on. Um, I'm curious to know, Ratic. Thank you so much, Angelique. Of course. Ratic, if you had to go work a warehouse job, how long do you think you'd last right now? Shoot, right now, <laughs> probably like a week or two. Okay. Until I had to like go to the podcast, but hey, I'm not coming on Monday. Yeah, sure. I have to find a, a, a fucking. A job that maybe be like a, a barber third shift. Be you know? a barber. Barbers don't work on Monday. Yeah, I think you need to. Okay, for real. Since you're not going to get an ID, you probably need to work like in the a, cabbage fields. Yeah, or a restaurant in the back, dishwashing, or a Home Depot Mexican. Those guys, you like <laughs> maybe like you know, you just hang out in the front, and somebody goes, "Hey, 150 bucks to go dig a pool hole or some shit." You know? Dude, should we do a video <laughs> on the on the kind of jobs where I can get? Yes, where like we just do a fucking the jobs you available to a, an, an identityless immigrant, basically. Yeah, it's a it's like a migrant. Like it's like what jobs would a migrant have? Ratic, I think it would be kind of culturally okay for you to do brown face for the video too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, can we please do that video? I want to see what we can get. I think we go to the valley first, right off the bat. And we go deep in the valley to where it's almost Mexico. There's some places in the valley where it's, it's strange how the further north you go, the more Mexico it, it gets. It gets Mexico y. And once you get to that area in the valley, <laughs> Mexico I feel that's where you're gonna work. You have to go with the Mexicans. They're gonna help you. <laughs> and brown they, face. But they already hate him, dude. They try to jump him. What if he fucking works with a guy who knows Big Carlos from the pen? Oh dude. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Warner. Mexican guys don't really like you. Dude, Ratic no. Ratic, you gotta fucking big chain. Ratic, Mexicans and the blacks don't like you, dude. What's going on? Yeah, well, Big Che's got his MS-13 members after me, and you know, blacks kind of like me, I feel like. No, dude, we've already established NBA that. NBA Mike, you know? NBA Mike looks at you... What do you think? It's like um, NBA Mike might as well be like in a lab coat and be holding a clipboard whenever he's around. Was, yeah. I was literally going to call him... Like, you're his lab rat, dude. Yeah, that's like, true. He's like prodding you and poking you and he puts you in little mazes and sees how you do yeah and i was actually hoping maybe rapture would jack him off but you know he's not famous enough so i don't want to stick with famous people you just want to do her fun maybe for fun uh she'd probably fucking love that are you kidding me (laughs) i'm not doing any dude i want to see you get fucked oh my Uh, god dude he would be like alan iverson in 2001 if he was fucking her so then that you can go fuck Aria yeah. Bella, if he was at, you were at Adam 22's birthday party. Yeah. So you, you guys met, right? Do you yeah. think, do you think Ratic would have gotten some pussy that night? Uh, maybe. Damn, from you? No. Oh. <laughs> I was busy. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Aria, where are you from? Colorado. Dope. Yeah. Uh, everybody I've met from Colorado has been sort of a sweetheart, like a hippie sort of. Yeah. I'm not Is that really a common a hippie, vibe? though. But a common yeah, vibe out there. Well, kind of like chill, um, mountain focused. Mm-hmm. Mountain focused. Yeah. A lot of like weed. That. Weed, um, weed like is fairly popular. Mountain biking and snowboarding, like mountain sports. Okay, cool. Wow. Yeah, that's such a cliche. That's fucking incredible. Mountain focused. I like that. It's like yeah. Amazon was customer focused. <laughs> I'm just, my name's, my name's Slash. I'm mountain focused. Just, you know. Mm to focus on the pow pow and you know take it to the to the wake in the summers you know get on get on my malibu boat and go exactly yeah <laughs> hey mountains provide uh, there's numerous friends that i have that are stunt guys right in there addicted to adrenaline rushes and like the, all they care about is mountains just going up a mountain and going down it with, on a bike you know on a bicycle right, yeah. or or mountain bike yeah. you know or, or dirt Long bikes yeah. leo's yeah. idea of an adrenaline rush is an unsolicited <laughs> dick <laughs> <laughs> sends one of those to a chick and then fucking blocks her oh yeah yeah, dude, you love doing that. I should give, I should give that a name, dude. The the old <laughs> slip and slide. The old um, the old slip and I don't do that. Do you actually do that? Do that? Do, oh yeah, he does oh, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm sure I've <laughs> sent um, many a dick pic in, in okay. my day though, but uh, I don't know that any of them were unsolicited. Okay. But uh, 
you know, you can't say for sure. There's been none worth it. I would say the, the the closest to like unsolicited I would ever I've ever done to be honest. I've talked about this to my buddy because, like, okay, like a girl would have like gave me a blow job today, right? In like two, two weeks, I might send her a bl- uh, like a pic, like a tick pic. Like, what hey, do you caption it? Like, hey, it was the best blowjob I've ever gotten or something, <laughs> you know? And then, like... I'd or, like uh, that. S- sorry about... Yeah, thank you. Like, yeah. It's sorry, I, I haven't cleaned this thing in a while. It's just... Because his penis... Pieces. It's dirty. It's fucking dirty. It's, it's European. It's uncircumcised. So, if for some reason, he just is so jealous that I can come from, a, like, mm. anything, you know? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, no, I'll send, like, a dick pic. Like, that would be the only time a girl has ever been like, what the fuck, dude, I have a boyfriend. I was like, I've had, like, two weeks ago. Okay, my bad. Something like that. There was also that one time at the Haunted House. <laughs> Well, you know, I, that was just, that's different. I just, I oh, just it was October. The Haunted Mansion. Yeah, in, sure. in, in, It was Disneyland. Oh, wow. They're, From your coffin, families. Cherry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Damn, that, that was wrong. I just wanted to see if it would show up in like that picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the girl was only 16. It was working the photo booth. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not true. No, that's not true. <laughs> okay, Most I'll believe things, you. Anything, anything that's illegal that he talks about, it, it's not true. Okay. <laughs> Except for the, the hit and run. Yeah, the hit and run is never happened. And he's <laughs> lying. My insurance company uh, thinks it was just a, a little fender bender, which is what it was. Right. Yeah. So, Aria Bella, what's the game plan? You're back in LA, fucking doing OnlyFans, yeah. kicking it, trying to get a place right now. If you mm-hmm. need some roommates, what about the, the couple to your left? Mm, <laughs> I actually had to move out of an apartment because um, the pets weren't taken care of. So, it was honestly like intense for me what pets weren't taken care of my roommate's pets Mm. i rented a room off of instagram Mm. and like i met her at parties and i thought it would be fine but it really wasn't so um but yeah my plan is to find a new place and um just like keep working and have Mm. fun yeah enjoy the weather yeah i hate bad (laughs) pet owners now you know i I became they didn't go on walks i have a cat right i have a cat right like they're fucking kind of they're not the worst though because they kind of let the dogs run the house and like the the dogs look really happy you know and they're sort of healthy their dogs you know what i mean but like when they like neglect like those chicks that leave a cat in a fucking bathroom for like a week with just like food and a shitty litter box and then just go on a trip to like some like you know, they get flown out to Miami or something, you know what I mean? Like I've known some girls like that and it's just it's evil. Yeah. That you're doing that to a little animal and you just like yeah, that really pisses you off. So was it something like that? Um, it was just like the smell reminded me of the place I rented. Mm. Um, oh yeah, place. there the yeah. smell there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the it smell did. reminded me. Um, mm. And Rook. I actually got really sick from it, so I was like, oh gosh, I, get I hope it. I don't get sick again. Or uh, Rutik, what's happening to you right now? You're having like a your face is turning completely red. Yeah. Is it um, your is eyes are what? Dabs. It's all the dabs I've taken. <laughs> okay. Have like a dab cough attack. I get them, get them sometimes. But. Wow. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay now. Rap Pussy Pam, she actually wanted tips from you how to become like a OnlyFans. Wow, let's hear this. Can you take the microphone, Rap Pussy? I want you to have a dialogue with Aria Bella right now on how to become an OnlyFans girl. He wants me to be an OnlyFans. I think girl, you do too. But I don't. If you Make can, a lot of money. you are in paradise once you put that black <laughs> serpent in your mouth. Uh, and I know you want as much of that as possible. Just real quick, just to, for me, me and Danny want to pitch to you like what your OnlyFans could be. I think you and Rat Dick, you go out. You got to get a really fucked up car. It's got to be just a decrepit. I'd say like a van or a truck, like something like that. There's a lot of van girls. Van girls. Mm-hmm. Van you girl. go it's out and you just. Find guys to blow that and he watches. Yep. That would be giant on OnlyFans. And it would make you really, really happy. It might make you happy. The guys could be hot, you know? We eventually move out of a van. I mean, you didn't say say no, dude. What what about this one? I'm not down. What about this one? What about this one, Leah? (laughs) Yeah, go normal. What's up? Give me an idea, buddy. (laughs) (laughs) Don't stop it. Keep yourself together. Give me, what's the idea, buddy? (laughs) <laughs> I already know it's terrible. Oh no! Oh yeah, oh, well, yeah. you get gonna yeah no yeah 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 you're gonna have to say this. Stop fat shaming. Yeah, me. you better not be a fat sham, dude. It better not be anything about her weight. Go ahead. Rat pussy Pam mm-hmm. works at a donut shop. <laughs> you're a piece of shit, dude. 
<laughs> okay. Well, does it out? She's that hasn't eaten a donut yet, so I'm okay with this. All right. She works at a donut shop, and what rat dick comes in? He's the exterminator guy. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that sounds amazing. That is unbelievable. Yes, dude. And then he, dude, that is great. Right. You should it. always be the exterminator, dude. But he, he might. Concert. I mean, yeah. And then so, and then, does she suck someone else's cock? Like, <laughs> of okay. course. No, okay. So it's never rat dick's cock. It's like oh, it's like any other porn where rat pussies, like you know, she's <laughs> putting together some bear claws or yeah. something. You know, she eats a couple herself before she. <laughs> puts together the dozen Stop it, and then rat dick comes in yeah. and he's like hey i heard there's some rats in the back oh. and then there's like sparks flying yeah but then but then a black guy comes from pepsi to refill the soda fountain and he pulls his bbc he's out jacked. and yeah. he's like yeah you my throat goat bitch oh. and he fucks oh. her mouth bam <laughs> dude yeah you guys i mean look now this is the way i okay look at it, it. This is the way I look at it. My buddy, I had a buddy who was like strapped for cash recently and he had done like a porn. And I was like, if you've done one porn and it's on the internet, why don't you just do OnlyFans? Like you might as well. So you got, you're, you're gonna, there's going to be porn of you on the internet. Why not? It's going to exist. It's going to be yeah. awesome. Um, it's not associated with your real name. So, you know, your employers aren't going to find it. So you don't have to worry that about that. But you might as well make a couple other videos because like today it's also normalized. It's very normalized. Like there's a lot of moms that are, that go to like, they take their kids to like some high S and high end elementary school and they pick them up and they go, oh, yeah, that's fucking, you know, Lisa Ann. Yeah. She's, she, she used to take BBCs on the internet, but now, you know, she's just, she's got a Land Rover. <laughs> she's just got a Land Rover like all the other moms. That's it. She's got a Land Rover. She's got a Land Rover like all the other moms. It's fucking, she's just, she's got to move those tots from practice to practice, you know, yeah, piano, okay, soccer, so all I'm no. saying is if it could maybe, I mean, if you guys got creative with it and it was like, if he got his ID and you actually did do something like, like that was structured and kind of decent, I think that you guys could make probably the most money you've ever made in your life, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> so Rat Pussy, so you, you need just to do mukbangs where it's just like, <laughs> it's got to be just a conveyor belt. There. It's got to be like Kentucky Fried Chicken, I'm Black not, Dick, oh my God. Big Mac, Black that. Dick, it would be Six dope. Piece Chicken Nuggets, <laughs> Black Dick. Can you imagine the video? The the, can you the imagine the video? You come into a Popeye's Chicken. Rat Dick is behind the counter. He's like, hey, you want? what do you want? And you go, that? <laughs> and you point right behind him at the... At the bigger black guy, oh and then God. and then he, you suck his dick, like things like that. And then it's definitely wide neck, and he's got it's a fucking he's got yeah. a bucket of chicken. Yeah, 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 and he's like, man, you gonna have to you gonna have to work for this motherfucking black snake, and she's got to eat her way to the bottom of the bucket. I'll encourage you at that point. And he's like, bitch, you suck this thing well. You get some biscuits and gravy, ho. Uh, come on. Man. <laughs> no. Okay, I know you wouldn't do that, but that's just an idea. That's just an idea. I do like How it. bad do you want to be rich? Yeah, that's true. How bad do you want to be rich? Because <laughs> Rat Dick, how, what about the idea? If you do get long neck to, to, or wide neck to you know, hook up with her, if you're okay with that and all that, you might as well make him eat fried chicken while he does it. Because that is a really funny idea. We should definitely have some muck game going on. Yeah, know, some muck fried chicken. What if NBA Mike and, NBA fucking, Mike and wide neck are both like in <laughs> basketball shorts? You guys rent out a gym and. <laughs> And fucking, they just roll Rat Pussy Pam out on a cart. Just have her. Get She's just on a fucking cart on the sideline. Trained. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like a guy, you know, there's like a guy. He's an actor. He's in his sixties. He's kind of like Salt and Pepper, and he's Phil Jackson, and he's like drawing up offensive plays. But every play ends in a money shot. You know, I, I, a representative, I want you to go get fucked out there. This is what I want for us. RPP. What's, I mean, did you feel a little empowered on set, though? Because, I mean, when there's this old saying that when a woman is, is giving a blowjob, she has all the power, really. I mean, she could bite. That's, you could that's bite what Leo, someone's penis. That's, that's that old saying, quote unquote, is Leo's I mean, attempt sure. to get blown. I mean, isn't it a nice thought, though, that <laughs> she has all the power? Right? It's kind of a nice yeah, way to look at it. Nice. It is kind of a... I think it's a truth. Some women would agree. Were you thinking about biting his cock? What are their, uh, <laughs> what are their old sayings are there, Leo? There's other like old in, sayings. You, like, know, uh, you know, Italians give the best oral. <laughs> you know I'll call you tomorrow. A blowjob a day keeps the dodger away. <laughs> you know, I don't know. What else is like... Uh, yeah, no, no, yeah I, I gotta, I've got I've got sufficient funds uh, to pay for this meal. <laughs> what other old sayings are there that Leo utters regularly? Uh, look, all I'm saying is... Um, no, of course I'm getting an Uber home. <laughs> all I'm saying, RPP, is that if you enjoyed it, it's okay. You know? <laughs> I didn't really enjoy it. 
Um. Really? <laughs> but a little a part of you. Did you like getting like dressed up and like, I don't know, I mean, have that, cameras I guess on it you? was nice. Yeah. But I really didn't want to, but... Mm. A rat pussy. Yeah. You seem like you wanted to at the time. Yeah, you are saying that for fucking rat dick's <laughs> ears. That's bullshit. <laughs> it's fine. He, rat dick can take it, man. He's a man. Like the, what he did with the fans is I, for real, way worse I mean, than this. Like I had to spice it up because it, it was like really <laughs> awkward with long neck and like like there was no momentum. Yeah, that's true. There so wasn't. I'm like, and then he was out saying like, just suck his cock. So. Mm-hmm. My favorite part was when it was super awkward and you started playing guitar. Oh, that yeah, was good. That was, yeah. Yeah. That was what is wrong with you? <laughs> or, uh, or hey, guys. You're crazy. I got one more idea. Or he was oh. playing that like white <laughs> rock music. Rap Pussy Pam, will you hear me out on like, one more suggestion? Bad, yeah, it was bad. Rap Pussy, will you hear me out on one more suggestion? No. Okay. You sure? No, at, like bad. that smirk just looks evil. <laughs> it's bad. We got a guitar in there by chance? We do Indiana yeah, Jones and the Temple of Doom porn. Oh, stop. Stop it. Rap Pussy Plam. No. Rap Pussy Pam. No. She plays oh. the boulder. <laughs> no. What's the boulder? And you're Indiana Jones, right, Dick? But oh, yeah, 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 hey, let's, 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 no, no, no. Right, right Dick doesn't know the boulder. Hey, no, I get, I get hey Austin, why don't we put a Indiana Jones boulder scene in <laughs> YouTube here? Because you're going to want to see. Right now. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I, we don't have to pull it up. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Don't pull it up. Don't oh, pull it up. Oh, okay. I was getting ready to watch. Yeah, no, oh, wait, wait. Aria Bell. Ar- <laughs> that was me, too. That was that one. You've seen Indiana Jones, you fuck. Okay, I mean, let's just see. Remember. Let's just go to the Temple yeah, of Doom. And let's just uh, here's what we're gonna do, yeah, Austin. Yeah, 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 we're gonna just... watch the trailer of Temple of Doom and see if there's anything we can use. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, Ratta can be one of the guys with the swords, like one of the Muslim guys. There he goes. Temple of Doom. Good trailer. spelling, Austin. Fucking look at that, dude. Look Perfect. At that. <sighs> there we go. Minute thirty-five. Perfect. Here we go, dude. Let's see. We're gonna make you're a, a porn. porn star now. Yeah. So no. she's gonna. <laughs> what do you mean you're not? She's gonna represent the Shankara stones. The villager's sacred rock was taken. Village stories, Doctor Jones. Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. I love it. That could be Leo. I don't want to go. Could... You know how to fly, don't you? No, do you? Uh oh. You call him Dr. Jones. Hold on to your potato. We got company. Archaeologists were always funny little men searching Crazy for their stunts. mummies. Mummies. Damn, wow. I didn't show it. They, okay. Why why are you you were holding out for the boulder seed, Leo? <laughs> it's a great scene. He I, saves the day. You gotta love the Chinese boy. Isn't that great? Wasn't that fun when he could do that? Just yeah. like, oh, he no crazy. Movie. He yeah. archaeologist. Yeah. Everywhere he, all at once. Yeah, that, that Chinese boy acts the same. Wait, did you like that movie? I would see only best it was, picture. It was really cool. It was cool. I gotta watch it. I, I, I try movie. to watch it. I mean, I, I kind of hate watched a little bit of it and I couldn't get through it, but it's okay. It's not. It's just, just because have to sit down and. It's a weird best you know. picture, you know. Rep Pussy Pam, you know I we love you. I just uh, I was making some jokes because you know you did you cocked my boy Rat Dick this weekend. Yeah. And so I just I felt like you were. You know, it was fair game. Rat Dick, yeah, you don't mind. I make a couple jokes. She no, cocked, no, she I, cocked you. I dude. want her to actually get fucked now. You know, it's more than why though. Do you I want, really? I want to see her get pleasure because he wants to get pleasure by another woman. Uh, no, I just want to. Plotting all this. No. Yeah, no. yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's, he's I just want to see you get fucked. Dude. It's not that deep. <laughs> well, you gotta. I mean, you gotta work on your Sven character, though. Because yeah, otherwise... you do. Because Ratic, you gotta be ready to take that free pussy, that get pussy free card once it comes. Leo's yeah. right, dude. Because right yeah. now you couldn't even cash in. Even if she was yeah. like, "Go, you've got twenty four hours. 
you would come back with your fucking pockets turned out. It's true. You know, we could go and try to like we could do for a video. We could like twenty four hours to get rat dick laid, dude. Do you think Carmen, your friend Carmen, would do it? No. Fuck. <laughs> well, who do you think would get laid faster, rat dick or Jeff, and like a pussy off? Uh, oh man, I gotta say rat dick. I think or so Fez, too. My bad. Fez. Yeah. I um, gotta say rat dick, Ralph, dude. Yeah, rat dick. I would have to say rat dick. Not Fe- that bad getting pussy, you guys. I'm sure I get some pussy if I well, tried. Fez is just, he's so, I mean, rat dick has had sex before and he clearly his penis functions well. Mm-hmm. So we know that Fez could have a micro penis. We don't know. Mm-hmm. He could be afraid to take it out. Mm-hmm. And I think when push comes to shove, I mean, rat dick knows how to fucking stick it in and pump until he shoots goo out of that little thing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Whereas Fez is going to be it, like, but can you, you feel it? Of course. You touch you touch my my vagina. I touch your boobie. Yeah. You're like he's not gonna fucking know what's going on. Well, guys, I think we've come to we're almost up at the two hour mark, huh? Yeah. yeah. It just time flies when we're talking to you, rat pussy and rat dick, the family rat. Are you? How do we find you? How do we find you on Instagram? Give us your full address. Um, I swear our fans are well behaved. So my current Instagram is it's Aria Bella. You've been getting a lot of IGs deleted? Yeah, too. Why? So it's like my backup, backup impersonation, impersonating myself. I Can you know. pay for verification? Um, It's like $6,000. No, it's not. It's fucking $14 a month now. I just don't like to put my government name on anything. Mm, wow. Um, Ratta, can you relate to that? She's paranoid. Relate to that. Are you on the run, too? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's running from a ginger in a jail somewhere. <laughs> Well, okay. Rapid Spam's gonna be on OnlyFans too, Marvel too. Why are you afraid to put your government name on anything? Um, I just don't want like I'm starting nursing school, so I don't want any of like my internet stuff to like and in, like impact that, like my mm. clinicals. You want to be able to deny? Yeah. Like, be like it looks me. like you. Be like that's no, some other bitch. That's not me. Yeah. As long yeah. as you could do that, it's. Yeah, I just I don't want it tied to my legal name. I don't want it coming up. Like I said, uh, it's normal. That's now. smart. The yeah. thing is, there's just there's such an abundance of pornography now. It's one thing if you did porn in the '90s, there was a chance. But now, I mean, yeah, everybody can see your porn a lot more easily than the '90s. But there's so many, so many chicks out there getting pumped that it's like it, it, you're you're not like showing your buddies like, dude, you got to see this one. It's yeah, no, not nobody yeah. even cares probably. You know, it's yeah. like, like you tell an office, so I'm like, hey, dude, you know, Mary does. It's probably like there's like five other chicks that do OnlyFans in that yeah. same office. If anybody gave you shit, just be like feminism, and they'd be like, fuck, I guess I can't. Right. Fucking, just be like feminism. Like, what? Are you a fucking misogynist? You you got something against sex workers? Or say you're trans? Are you? I'm uh, just worried about like the Catholic hospitals, like in case I get placed there. Sure. They won't be but even the Catholic there. priest is like all for trend okay. shit now, I'll right? Just talk to him. Or the, the Catholic, the Catholic Pope, dude. <laughs> yeah, the Pope is like, dude, they He's got it. it. Yeah. They're just, dude, the fucking the woke shit, like all the corporations now. They got the Catholic Church, dude. Yeah, it's like, um, okay. you know, yeah, you're good. I, do you have any ethnicity, like any color in you? Uh, Brazilian. Oh, great. Oh, you're so you're black. Good. You're fucking. You're oh, yeah, black. Two percent actually. I you're just don't like the top you're just black. Yeah. You're 100 percent black. <laughs> okay. They, if they try to fire you, be like, you know, you're firing a fucking BIPOC woman of color right now. Right? <laughs> like you're you're firing a queer <laughs> sex worker, a person of color. I am bisexual. There you go. Queer. There you go. And just yeah. be like, the hell I'm gonna bring upon you. We'll just this company will never be the same again. <laughs> Would you do a bisexual scene with Rapids Pam? Um, what do you think about that? Your followers up right now. I'm really only working with like my close friends. Okay. Yeah, but and me, Redick. Her yeah, and I are going to do my my debut porn scene. Really, see, like, dude? That'd be I big. might unretire for you. Though. A double yeah. dildo <laughs> scene coming soon. Wait, what was it? Redick, double, yeah. double dildo. Uh, uh, her Aria yeah, and yeah, pussy. Yeah, like a fucking seesaw. A seesaw. Dan, would you jerk off to that in the corner, Redick? I would definitely jerk off to that one. I wouldn't feel so bad about that. Would you fucking? Is your porn star now, Rap Spam? Would you let her pee in your mouth, right, Dick? Aria Bella? Yeah, right now I would, honestly. Uh-uh. Why not? I don't want it. <laughs> you, you're just peeing on me. I'm the one taking the piss. Uh, right? no, I, no, thank She's you. She's afraid I, you would use her DNA and like put it on a hobo's corpse I'm and then tie it to her. She's got a government job to think about, yeah. dude. And you know what the good thing is, though? Like, like a, shit on me. <laughs> a lot of guys want RBP, dude. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to drop an OnlyFans. 
Maybe. Tonight. Dude, if you guys yeah. drop an OnlyFans, yeah. that shit is going off, yeah. dog. Yeah. I think you guys would make some I think you guys would make some good cash. If you guys dress up like fucking mice and rodents and shit. And it's you, a niche. <laughs> and you, if you guys just dress up like rats and you just play sewer sound effects. Stop. Just like dripping water, <laughs> like pipes and stuff, and like yeah, like rat noises. <laughs> and you guys fuck and there's cheese everywhere and there's a <laughs> wheel in the back. Dude. Dude, <laughs> money. That's finally the best. If there's a wheel and a water bottle, and the water bottle is like straight vodka, so whenever somebody donates, you have to go take a water bottle hit, and then you just start like eating ass because you're all drunk all of a sudden. Oh, oh man, yeah, dude. like a cam show. Dude, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Danny, that's what we just... have to do for the that 24 hours. And then, ra- and then rap plus you. Yes, dude. And you guys both will get exercise because fucking assholes. You know they'll pay a hundred bucks to make a rap plus you five minutes on the. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, dude. Uh, dude. Down. You're down for this? No. Radic, right, what on. do you think about setting up a 24 hour live stream inside of your house before but you I get, get evicted? paid for it? Well, I mean, I can't get paid on YouTube. I should probably do it on Twitch. I'll come. Or, or you'll come? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Radic, the fucking YouTube okay. cops are out to get me too. The new border video demonetized, son. Demonetized already. Dude, they've, been, I've been, they've been on a demonetization trip with me. Damn, that's, that sucks. Um, once again, well, everybody plug your stuff. You, we've all plugged. Um, yeah, it's Aria Bella on IG. Cool. If uh, Wide Neck <laughs> was here and he was doing plugs for his stuff, he'd fucking put his cock in rap plus his throat, dude. <laughs> that's that's his plug, that's dude. His plug. Yeah, yeah, that's you your want mouth me to plug. Fuck your girl, man. So wait, so he's a, you're you're you want him to fuck your girl. I really want him to fuck oh, you. I'm damn, I'm, 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 I all the stuff aside, I'm ready for it. No more. Oh my god. I'll prove it to you. I'm one fuck you from now on. Okay. Well, rap plus anything you want to plug? Prove it. Uh, rp.pam on IG. rp.pam. On and then IG. we the queen. we've uh, support once this video drops. Definitely support. We got a nice revenue split going on here, so it's going to be beneficial to uh, the regime and to the 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 rats. Definitely subscribe so we could, you know, get a new apartment. Hell yeah, baby! And uh, that's that's all for this episode. Thank you. Good one.